Why do you think that you always have women complimenting men on their eyelashes? Because eyelashes... Women compliment men on their eyelashes? Yes! yes. They do. Yes. Yes! Have you ever seen a beat face without lashes? No, if a man has... Yeah, I have. No? Absolutely, I have. No, if... Look, no. Get my side profile. <laughs> Like, 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 for instance, my, my, husband, <laughs> about it. my husband has beautiful eyelashes. Even my, my little nephew, when I see him. Yo, wait, stop it. I'm not doing this right your, now. Your husband's Jamaican, right? <laughs> I'm not And what does he say when you tell him that? <laughs> oh, I don't comp- He know. I'm when, when you be like, babe, you got some beautiful eyelashes, he don't be like, oh, where y'all thought about? When the first time I heard, 40 is the new 30. That, and I and and I don't. That's if, where it came if from. If I had to, if I had to say where it came from, I don't think it came from a dude. It came from Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z said oh, it. Oh, who He's did a, it come from? Oh, I didn't who know, did man. it come from? A Sagittarius. Who did it come from? <laughs> a Sagittarius. Oh, it was a guy. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean that's what I mean. Who is a producer? Who is a man? Would say when we walk in here without makeup. Thank you. Ready to record. What would you think that this man would say? I used to come here. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, Alan, but we're in a, va- but we're we're in a vacuum sure? here. I'm like, no. <laughs> because he no. probably thinks. We don't that know you, what it looks like. Like, a couple gotta, blemishes he wants you to. You're crazy. My shit is clear. <laughs> my, my shit is clear. My skin is clear. My skin gonna be clear. My, thank you. My skin gonna be clear. Fuck out of here. And my teeth gonna be straight. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do the lips. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Welcome back. Welcome back to the Table. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it so much. Before we jump this off, I just want to say thank y'all for following us, for liking, subscribing, uh, getting foolish in the comments, because y'all know I have time some days. Um, We really appreciate y'all. So make sure you check us out every day. We have content dropping every single day. We're live, as you know. You can see us here right now. Um, But we need y'all. Because y'all have made us what we are. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. So thank y'all for tuning in to Eight at the Table. And let's get into the table today. We have a tremendous show. So I'm just going to jump it off with, like, our guests um, introducing themselves. (laughs) Oh, that's cool. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) Hi. My name is Major Hype. I'm the comedian guy. I'm, I'm that guy. Great to have okay. you. Is that that's not good? No, 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 it is good. Oh, Cause I, mean, I could do it over. You want me to do it over? Okay. So, What's up? This is your boy Major Hype, aka the King of Caribbean Comedy. You know what it is. We here, eight at the table. Oh yeah. Yeah. What the yeah. end? The end on top of his post? What is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. It's this logo that with an N on it. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you go on the. It's like Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. So I'm gonna be filming my uh, first comedy special for Netflix. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I love you, good Netflix. Nice. Yeah. It feels feels right. good to be the first Caribbean comedian really? yeah. to uh, have a Netflix special. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wait, which Caribbean country are you representing? You see, you ask too much question, man. No, we, we really want to know. You like to talk too much. <laughs> now you don't want to tell us, y'all. Not because you know why. Tell me. Because if I say where I'm from, then that set of people is going to be more, you know, they, you know how black people are. <laughs> he's he's going to alienate them. I, I identify He's going to alienate as what, them. As what? As what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear this. What you identify as? All right. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> you part Indian or something? <laughs> Well, That's where she was going. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think so. I think so. I saw the waves. I saw the waves. I was like, okay. That don't even look. Real. That don't look like gel. That look like a little water. A little water. <laughs> yes. No, we know that's Revlon. Stop it. You crazy. <laughs> you crazy. You better call Missy Jobert. That's Thank the good. You. That's the good here. Uh, yes. Okay. She's Native American too. 
Next. <laughs> okay, we're going to introduce our next guest, y'all. Ron the Snitch. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She didn't. <laughs> Right out of the gate. Like you weren't kidding. You weren't kidding. He was very serious. Yo. The snitch. Ron, the marital... Uh, matrimonial. The home wrecker. The no. matrimonial oh, not investigator. Not yes, my name is Ronnie Padron. I am a matrimonial investigator, among other things, for 27 years. And uh, I'm here to give you guys a little insight on how people actually think about these situations. Yes. So... For those that don't know what a matrimonial investigator is, what is that? So basically, you know, uh, among other things that we do in our agency, matrimonial could be husband, wife, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend, any type of relationship where you feel that your significant other is stepping out on you, uh, we'll make sure to give you the information if that's correct. So Ron is like cheaters. Yeah. Cheaters. Ah, so, another so, word, cheaters, snitch. So, come on. So let me ask you. So, so, show cheaters. Yeah. So, all right. So, That's Ron, true. Ron, how many times have someone called you and it didn't happen like they were cheating? Like like that, you went back with good news? That happens often. And you know what? Um, oh. Give me a percentage. <laughs> and, who, Your and, who, and who made the call? Experience. Very small. And who made the call? Um, as far as telling them? Like who wanted to investigate their spouse? So we have, you know, I think it's 60-40. It's turning more 70, 30 now where we have 70 female, 30 male. Absolutely. Uh, but you know what? A lot of times when we tell them good news, they're kind of disappointed. Really? Because yeah, they, they paid money to know the dirt. <laughs> like right. you sold me a bag of junk. Do well, they be like, do they say that you didn't do your job right? A lot of times. <laughs> you know, I had I had something in specific about four or five years ago. We followed this guy. He went to a hotel room textbook. Middle of the day, over in Queens, goes into a hotel room with a girl. He's in there for an hour and a half. You get all the film. He comes out, present the whole case to the wife. She gets all pissed off. She goes home. She calls me three days later. She goes, I want my money back. I go, you want your money back? She goes, yes. I spoke to my husband. He's a painter. And she was just showing him the color pattern that what? she wanted in yeah, he her showed, next job. Showed her the color let me, pattern. Let me get right. it straight. Right. In the hotel room? In the hotel room. She goes, yeah, that's what the specific colors she wanted. And then, you know, she's like, I want my money back because I did my job. You're going to tell me if you want to choose to believe your husband that he was showing paint swatches. <laughs> in a hotel in Queens. You have <laughs> 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 we'll call them Gala Yamed. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, people will call us on the carpet and say you didn't do your job. The problem is, is that they're, they're so hell-bent on finding information that doesn't exist that when you give them the right information, they throw it back at you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So in Atlanta, you're risking yeah. your life in a different way. Atlanta's not, not just your life. life. <laughs> no? No, not your life, your parts. <laughs> well, damn. Wait, so so I have a question. Actually, I'm super like interested uh in what you do. So do you have a lot of like um like law firms who hire you um when you know they're contemplating like if there's a, a partner contemplating divorce? So so when you're talking about like uh, post relationship and you're getting into divorce, yes. So there are asset searches, obviously. Right. You know, New Jersey is a 50 50 state. So basically, anything you acquire in your marriage, you split. And obviously, people hide things. You know, we do bank searches, we do asset wow. searches. Um, after you get divorced, you might have a, a cohabitation. You've never been shot? Uh, yes, I actually have been, <laughs> but not, but not doing, not doing, uh, investigative work, doing, uh, uh, bail work. Um, you have a uh, cohabitation. So in this state, if you get divorced and you're paying alimony and you start to what they call cohabitate someone in a marriage like relationship where you share with them, you can get rid of your alimony and alimony is devastating. And I don't want to talk about it really. So, uh, <laughs> but, um, Damn. you know, that's you, why people should really investigate like the laws when it comes to marriage and stuff and where you get married at, you know what I'm saying? It's true. All the states are a little bit different. Yeah. And again, you know, I, listen, we want to have fun here and everything else, but sometimes some of these cases get really bad. They use the children against each other. Somebody might have custody of a child and they might be receiving extra money and knowing that if they receive that child into their home, they're going to get the extra money and it gets a little bit, you know, uh, you feel for them, you know, and, and, and you go from being an investigator to be more of a um, therapist, psychotherapist. And the problem is, is that when people are hurt this way, they don't want to hear certain things. They, some, they go from, uh, from one point to revenge, you know, and, and that gets really, really ugly because you, 
it is what it is. You ever had to um, investigate somebody you knew? Um, damn. That is an excellent question. <laughs> that is an excellent question. I think you would know. I was about to say, you would know. <laughs> no, I don't think. A secondary, like somebody who would know somebody. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I've had that situation. And again, listen, we have to get to a point where, you know, you have to stay professional, you know, and the best way to stay professional is not to take that case. I'd be like, yo, bro. <laughs> That's what I, I, I wouldn't be. Don't take I would, the case. Don't take the case. I wouldn't be. I can trust you a little oh, don't bit more. Don't take the case. That's the best way to stay okay. neutral. Okay. If it's someone that knows someone. Not someone if it's that someone that knows someone know. and like you're a friend in, of a friend? yeah, like a friend of a friend, I'll and you're in. Ah, uh, yeah. You taking that? You listen, here's my number. You're gonna start working for it's me. A friend then. of a friend. <laughs> hey, my friend. Yo, Ron, I can trust you a little bit more now. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. So we're friend of friends. All right. So we do. Not quite. So we do three. Dope icebreaker questions now here at Eight at the Table. I'm going to ask both of you one, and then I'll let them ask the other two. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Ron and Major Hype, individually, right, if this was your last 24 hours on Earth, yeah, that's going to be my question. I was about to say, but that's just not the starting If this was your last 24 hours on Earth, Ron, I know we got, you know, audiences here, but, right. you know, feel free to answer right. truthfully. Sure. Um. You get to pick one person in the world who you can have an intimate sexual experience with. Anyone, who would it be? Ah, uh, so my girlfriend's in the room. <laughs> okay, but when you're talking about fantasy and you're talking about the way you are, I'm I'm gonna be 100% honest. I have a great relationship. We have a great sexual relationship, and um, they're swingers. The, <laughs> Listen, I've done I've done a lot of swinger relations a lot of swinger investigations and I, it I sounded like that's where you was going I, I know, I'm sorry I'm, very, I'm, I'm being 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. honest you have a great like relationship, sexual relationship I reached a place where I hope some of you guys can be at right now mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say it's my girlfriend 100% Listen, I'm not playing it safe. Rico, Rico hates those Rico, he That hates is a I definite like, playing it safe I answer. I no more. Oh, that was, I, that no, was a, that, that was a, you're not going to mess up my night. Yeah. Answer. <laughs> but I, I'm on the side with Ron simply because, and I say this all the time, why would you have an experience where you don't even know what the outcome is going to be? You already know what you can do. So you or can what fantasize. It, look at Ooh. him. <laughs> All right, I mean, now you're, you're pushing the envelope, Ron. I mean, come on, I win. So, I, I, for, for the we most part, we love this for you. No, you know, we love this for you. A lot of people, <laughs> listen. A lot of people fantasize. Oh, what it would be like with uh, whatever movie star, whatever rock star, whatever. I mean, you know, Narelle could be a, you know, somebody that you uh, don't have anything in common with. You yeah, you talk about. We ain't say talk. <laughs> All right. who's, who, who's yours? I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a, a Sagittarius answer. Oh God! <laughs> Let's just give a truthful answer. That is a tr that is a Sagittarius <laughs> answer. Um, really and truly, I'm 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 the vibe. I'm I'm the one that's you that, are the vibe. Yeah, I'm the one that somebody would. I'm the wanna, one you need to pick. I'm the one that somebody want to pick. I'm not going to do the picking because I'm the one that lays it down the right way. So it would be an experience for the other person to pick me. Okay. I, I can't, I can't, I, there's nobody that I can. really an answer? That's not even an answer. Yes, yeah, it is let, an yeah, answer. Let him go, bro. First of all, you know first, of, I, I, first of all, you cut it. me off. I you let me finish. more than my Shut girlfriend. Up, you let me finish <laughs> like a typical Gemini. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually for the answer. So the reason why I say that is because I'm the vibe, right? So at the end of the day, I'm a pleaser. I'm the one that does the pleasing. I get I get off by pleasing the person that I'm with. So I can't I can't spe specify one person that I would want to have have that. And I don't think that I would take my last night to be intimate, to be honest. Like you said. It's an experience. It could be 10 minutes. I understand what you're saying, but you said your last night on earth, bro. And I don't think I'm going to be thinking it about. It sounds like he's, it's going to be 10 minutes. Mm. So. Yeah, it's not going to be 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah. You know what we learned? Might be eight. That you picked the wrong thing. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm about to, don't worry. I'm no, but I don't only read, I'm slowly revamping it. No, I just, I just, <laughs> I, I just don't, yeah. yeah, I just, I just don't fantasize over people like that. So I can't, I can't really, and I'm not in a relationship right now, so I can't really. Say your partner? 
I can't say, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like he already did it. Like, <laughs> like I'm are you dumb? You are. <laughs> so at the, at the no, same time with there. his answer, you know, it depends on the level that you're at, you know, and the, the time in your life. I mean, you know, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, either. come on. You find things a little bit more important to you. And uh, maybe we've been there. Maybe we've. Yeah, I ain't yeah, had like, Maybe right, we've yeah, already. Had yeah, Lopez. maybe we've Jennifer really Lopez. done it all Jennifer already. Lopez, yeah, come yeah, on, bro. That's what I said. I, I was I, just. Yeah, yeah, How do you know? He just changed oh. his like 20 times and we'd be like, uh, yeah. Have you seen Ben Affleck's okay. face lately? He don't look happy. Oh, wow. You saw that? <laughs> Yo, you know what? You got a point. You he slammed that he, door. He was like, he's, the door, he's like, why did I do this again? <laughs> so let, let's just let's, let's use another. I'm still stuck on Selena. A Selena. Now? Now or then? Selena. No, like, like when oh, no, J-Lo plays Selena. Oh, well, that's about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Very different. That was 40 years ago. Damn, I'm not even that old. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easier. They're gonna use that against oh, us. All right. Uh, uh, I, I just. All right, go ahead, Amanda. What's the next one? Okay. Really? Okay. It's the glasses. She doesn't know how to act. I told you. They said never <laughs> like trust somebody with two eyes. First of all, that was not your. Gave her the fucking glasses. She don't change. There's a hole in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to. There's ask, more. I'm gonna oh. ask my favorite question. I'm gonna leave the other question to you. Okay. What is you guys? Favorite uh, go-to drink? No, yeah, because he went out of order, and that's the question I like to ask. So that's what I went with. Since he went with what he likes to ask. Give me my glasses. Like now, you no. just don't even. Have to ask. Like, <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you can start this one. What's your like go-to drink? Favorite go-to drink? Yeah, like when you go out, when you go to a party, when you go to the bar. What do you usually uh, get? I'm 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 simple with it. I'm I'm Don Julio and ginger ale. I'm not. That's all right. That's a yeah, go-to. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. You know. I'm not gonna get a cosmopolitan a little crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lemon drop. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can I have an armorial sour, please? No, I'm not. I'm just Still regular. You drinking I mean, 20 but... years ago. No, I was not. <laughs> 20 <laughs> years ago, I was drinking <laughs> Hennessy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 30 years ago. Maybe. 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years ago, I was drinking Hypnotic and oh. and, uh, and and Alizé oh, mix. Alizé. <laughs> he said Hypnotic. Yeah, Incredible Hulk or something. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, indeed. <laughs> what about well, you, Ron? What's your go-to drink? 100% Captain and Coke. Okay. So Captain and Coke, very strong, nice and smooth. Uh, we were actually just in Florida last week, and we went to a bar in Ball Harbor, which is like, you know, yeah. uh, Beverly Hills of Florida. Walked right in there. I asked for the guy for a cap, and he's like, "We don't have caps." Here. I go, "Can I have a Bacardi and Coke?" We don't serve Bacardi and Coke. And I was like, "Give me whatever bougie shit rum you have." Mm, bougie over there. <laughs> and Coke, you know, it was the fingers. And I was like, "Give me whatever bougie rum you have up there." And somebody, goes, oh no, we have Captain. You know, we have Bacardi Gold. I'm like, it doesn't matter. You're gonna charge me fifty bucks for the drink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Captain Morgan and Coke. Few of those, and you are well. I mean, this is really good. Whatever this is, <laughs> what, is what, what is it? I don't know. Oh, it's Jamo, right? It's called it's Jesus Hugo. Jesus Hugo. <laughs> Jesus Hugo. <laughs> For all my you Latino know, my friends out there, calls do say Jesus juice because of the label on the bottle. Oh, it looks like. A, so your mom yeah, is definitely like a not a Christian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Not at all. She, not religious. Your mom is definitely an atheist. Okay. <laughs> but you know the thing about me is I really hate to chase my drinks with soda. Like both of you guys had drinks that are chased with soda. No, this is not soda. This is ginger ale. Ginger. Okay. Mm. Medicine. Carbonated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anything in Coke, anything in ginger ale, I'd be like that. I don't want to fill you so, up. So you like a pineapple no, I don't person? Like, any, like gassy, like bubbly. Kinda, unless it's like champagne, I don't want it. It's okay. We don't mind if you burp. I mean, that's okay. Yes. That's, 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 we be up here. We'll, that's okay. We be like, hey, that's <laughs> no. Women think. As soon as you see somebody go, women think the that's, <laughs> women think that certain things offend yeah. us. No, they don't offend no, us really. It's, it's honestly, just a taste of like soda chasing, like hard liquor. I don't like it. Hmm. Well, it depends how much soda you put in there. I'm not a. I'm not a. Uh, I don't like Coke. You like Pepsi. I like fentanyl. No, I'm stopped. I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not a Caribbean people seem to like <laughs> moving to Seattle. No, I don't. I don't like. I don't. I don't use any 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 uh, soda except for ginger ale. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm more of a cranberry, pineapple, orange juice type of person. What's your go -to Me too. Mixer? Yeah. Oh, okay. I well, I always say to Sam and um, pineapple. What's your What's your go to mixer? 
Same juices. But if I had to drink any soda, I would drink ginger ale. But outside of that, root beer. Yuck. Root oh, beer. I agree with you. You're 78? You supposed to be a crack. You from Canada, ain't you? Oh, that's like liquid. Six, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's disgusting. Oh, I agree with you. I used, to, I used to be a cranberry girl, but I like pineapple way more. And if I do want cranberry, I tell them like a splash of cranberry. Y'all, he's drinking. No, that's okay. Uh, He'll just first of all, I don't even know what that is. Tequila. He's drinking ginger ale, and it's 100% agave, so you won't have oh, a headache. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I, didn't, I actually that. didn't want to tell you that. Because a lot of people it's 100% don't know agave. Why you, why'd you pour that? So I can cheers with y'all. Oh, um, with them. Yeah. So, but a lot of people you, think they're drinking. They're like, oh, I had such and such. Mm, sweetheart, you're going to have a hangover because it's not 100% agave. That's literally the only, like, quality... It's important when it comes to tequila. I feel like I'm watching one of them herpes commercials. <laughs> Can't relate. You never saw a herpes commercial? Now I can live. <laughs> you might have a headache. You might have diarrhea. You might, <laughs> you might die. Of course. Now I can live. No, they do be on there. Especially the NHF. Canubra? Yeah, but they're really fast. They're like... Yeah, no, they're not. They're side bold. effects really quick. Yo, at night, them just be a minute long. <laughs> like, what's going on? Yo, 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 this ever happened to you? Have you ever... Have you... I'm not... Have you been... Have you ever had, like, guests... Or, well, not you. Guests over your house. Like, you about to have sex, and then this wow commercial comes on, and you just look at each other like... Like an AIDS commercial or something. Oh, that's <laughs> You're like, oh, oh man, I was planning on going raw too. Damn. That's, that's <laughs> like, look at God. Let me go get this condom. Oh my God. But you know, you know, you know, you know. Usually, right? So men, right? Most men. Let me not say men, because I don't speak for every man. But many men. But many, most many men, men. Most <laughs> most men said. feel like most men feel like you know when you when you start up sexually and then you get into the vibe, if the condom is not Right there, they feel like, ah, oh, man, I'm gonna get up and it's gonna kill the vibes. Absolutely. <laughs> it will. And then you might change your mind within the time of me going to get the condom. That's how a lot of dudes go raw. In fact, especially if you left it in the car. Yeah. Like if I gotta go to the bathroom, <laughs> go if I gotta go to the bathroom or to the store to get the condom, you should come back, she's fully dressed. If you gotta go to the store yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you be like, what you mean you ready to go? I'm, I gotta go. It's like, where'd she go? <laughs> it was, you gotta she seize was, the moment. <laughs> she was Wait, just here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. It was you're socially irresponsible. No, he's like, this is the most socially responsible show I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get an X rating for sure. <laughs> Wait, y'all. Honestly, it wasn't Turn his mic off. the show that I found out that people were having as much raw sex as they were. I what had was, no idea. A lot of raw sex no, happening. Listen, it was, it was, honestly, it was you and Oliver. A Wait, hold on. Tell me why? Why, so why just do you, throwing me under the bus? Why do you, why do you think? Yes, why do you? I said it. Why do you think men don't really go for checkups? <laughs> Wait, don't go for checkups. Yeah, why? why they don't. Want, <laughs> they, they, we don't know. like bad news. Is, is that what it is? <laughs> We and wait. We wait for you off. to go. We wait for you to go. We be like, you good? That's disgusting. How and we your, good? How was your How was your doctor's appointment? Oh, it was. It went well. It'd be like, okay, great. Then I'm good. <laughs> but what you? No, I'm like, I'm good. You might want to check yourself. You good? We good. I already got the uh, the antibiotic. <laughs> a little ugly still. Yeah, we gonna We gonna be looking at your pills in the bathroom like. <laughs> wait, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Our He's bar- already stealing your shit. Our bars in the Cahagda. <laughs> okay, I gotta go get some Bahas and the Gaga. Wait, y'all. I'm Why them names lie. is always like that? <laughs> but you know, you know, there's a reason that they name them the way they do. Like each part of the name has like a meaning. Yeah, Jesus it has a meaning right. for what it, it means. Does. Nasty <laughs> motherfucker. What's <laughs> <laughs> packages coming home with In no German. labels on them? What's this box? It doesn't say anything on it. It's just got your address. Give me that shit. <laughs> It's I ain't gonna lie. When I was dating, I definitely have looked inside of people's. Uh, you be looking at people's pills? Medicine cabinet? And they medicine cabinet. Oh, that's, common. that's crazy. That's wild. No, that's that's common. You did that? I did. I, for I'm women? Well, you were an investigator no. anyway. So. I, I think I got for women, the same that birthday. Might be very, very common. You were an investigator I think anyway. So. so Why not? I mean, yeah, you know, you, the, you don't know the guy. You get a lot of information. You're, you're an investigator, so you're gonna do stuff like that. We just sitting there. I didn't even know what a bathroom was. We just sitting down with. I didn't say we do it. Huh? He be smelling panty <laughs> scene. Wait, if they don't have a yeah, I'm not gonna go here. Or <laughs> somewhere. 
I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like I don't know, y'all crazy as hell if y'all not looking at these medicine cabinets because. So we ch- I, ch- rusty I check crazy. panties yeah. too. If we're being for real, that's an invasion. Like if you go to the, what? don't invite me to your house. Yeah, that's if definitely that's definitely a charge. Medicine cabinet. That's, that's definitely a charge. She's surviving She's Aaron the Renegade herself. <laughs> I mean, if she has reason. If you go to the you're just being nosy, just to be nosy. If you go to the if bathroom, I'm going in your hand. Medicine cabinet. There's some shit in there. <laughs> Why are you? With anybody has a padlock on a medicine cabinet? I'm going in your hamper. If, if <laughs> I want to see what that panty crotch look like oh. on a regular day, you can tell a lot by dirty panties. Yeah. Wait, what do you tell? You what do you mean? What you tell? Stains. <laughs> what, What's that green cream in there? Oh. Why are you discharging so much? Are we filming? We filming? Yeah, we live. We running still right now? Cameras is rolling? Okay. Yo, oh, on my face hurts. Cameras don't stop, my guy. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Let's run the camera. Let's go. I'm going to tell her this was filmed two years ago. You literally just said it yourself. <laughs> That shit is old, babe. What are you oh, talking about? Wow. <laughs> Did you just on that, get that camera? Chain? Yo. Oh, this is a 2023 chain. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. One for me? <laughs> she ain't the one for nobody. <laughs> no, she's the one for many. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> she was the one for someone. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay. You're the professional, so let's hear your perspective first. Uh, oh, you know, as far as looking for red flags on a stranger that you meet, like for the first time, I guess, you know, um, I guess if somebody starts to talk a lot about their previous relationship and the errors that they were made, you know you're gonna have some trouble because they're already comparing you to possible mistakes that are gonna come in the future, you're dead. So, you know, if I, you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> oh, my boyfriend did this and he liked green shirt. Is that a green shirt? So, I mean, you know, it's that type of situation where, you know. That was funny as hell. <laughs> they're, not, they're not giving your relationship or your potential relationship Damn. a chance at all. You're doomed already because they're already comparing it to the past. Mm. You know, if you can find somebody that's ready for a clean slate, which is not easy these days, then probably that would be the number one indicator. <laughs> what do you think there? Yeah. Clean slate. No one has that. <laughs> um, I, for me, I mean, it's it's, I, I, it's your temperament, your uh, lack of respect. Those, if I see those type of things, then I feel like, yeah, um, I'm gonna head out. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you have a relationship with your father? You know, what did you have a father figure? You know how? I, and 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 looking at their mother too. You know what I'm saying? The qualities that their mothers have. You know, Is that what, that's what they're going to look like in the future type well, of not, thing? Well, not appearance. Not, not no, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> the characteristics. Gotcha. Right? Because I feel like if your mother don't have respect for, for men, then how would you? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a gamble. And, 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 and the older you get, the less you want to gamble. You know what I'm saying? So you start, you start taking out those things that you know that would be potentially a problem for you. You know what I mean? So those, those are the things that I look for nowadays. What does respect look like? Um, respect, respect look like compassion, looks like, uh, compromise. It looks like, uh, caring about my feelings as well as yours. Um, and, and just knowing how to communicate. Some people don't know how to communicate and everything turns into an argument for them because they don't know how to communicate well. You know what I'm saying? A lot of conversations could be had where it doesn't have to be on top of our lungs or disrespectful or throwing insults. It could just be a, a, two adults conversing and a lot of people don't know how to converse so that's why we have a lot of arguments nowadays that's true that is true i also feel like we live in a selfish world nowadays too like it's so selfish that everybody genuinely just cares about themselves and not others you think that's something that's new yeah really yeah because because i feel like it's so many hurt people that people because at one point people were thinking about other people but now we live in such a hurt society that everybody's out for themselves. So it doesn't care. Nobody cares about your feelings or her feelings or his feelings. Everybody cares about their own feelings. It's like what I'm. I'm letting you in my life. What are you gonna do for me? It's not like what we can do for each other. Can we build for each other? It's more of you know people just really just out for themselves. You like 
you're you're there to make them happy. I'm not in your life to make you happy. We we here together, you know what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. So it, it became a, a selfish society, in my opinion. It's a theory because it has a lot of facts to it. No, I'm not developing with anyone. Sorry, <laughs> sir. I don't know what he point said you need to come develop. I don't know what I don't know what point you're trying to make, but when you get to your forties, you're not developing anyone. <laughs> Okay, you're supposed to be developed already. Like, what are we talking about? Wait, but doesn't that depend on the age of the women that you, no. you go after? No, because you know why? Because as a, as, a, as a young boy growing up, I always knew that women mature faster than men. So a 40-year-old man should be, should be uh, in the same realm as a 35-year-old woman. 30, ex absolutely. However, Sandra. in today's society, the 30-year-old woman acts like she's 25. So mm -hmm. there's a problem 20. there. With the youngsters. I mean, but the youngsters. Really on you on who you choose. No, that's not because, true. Yes, it is. How? Because. You know who I'm dating? I don't, I don't know, and I'm not oh. dictating who you need to be dating either. But if you, as a 40, however, old man. I said 40. <laughs> you said, no, you said 40 something. No, I said when you get to your 40s, that's what I said. Okay, so when you're in your 40s. No, you wanted to hear something. <laughs> and you're assuming that a 35 year old woman needs to be just as mature as you. That's just an assumption. That That is not. Okay, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. Exactly why you're answering that way. Because you weren't around when the 30-year-old women were actually women at 30. Okay, there was women. When I was growing up, a 30-year-old woman was a grown-ass woman. Got a house, got a career, got a job, got kids, almost getting married, if not married already. That's You You don't see that as a 25-year-old. So I expect your answer to be that way. Yeah. I mean, if you really had to think about it. I mean, actually, hold on. <laughs> growing up, I did see that. I so then, that in my gener generation. So then, what was your is, point then? My point is that women do mature faster than men, but assuming that a woman should be mature, being that you're dating younger, isn't even fair. Because that's not making sense. You contradicting yourself if you ask me. No, it's, you saw thirty. You saw. So let me just get this straight, so that we're on the same page. Yeah. When you were growing up, you saw thirty-year-old women that were mature that had careers already and lives already and married already i saw that as well so now what i'm saying is what they look like now life has changed where the average 30 30 year old woman does not mature that same way we're mm -hmm. both saying the same thing okay but you're, but you're saying, telling me no, it's unfair to assume no, yeah, but it's not an assumption saying, but you're also saying that being that women these days aren't like the woman you've seen growing up that you're still expecting them to be. I'm not expecting moved. anything. I never said anything no, about no, expectation. What you did say was that. Women I said mature. they are not mature these days, so therefore I am not entertaining them. That's what I said. So come developed. Let's take this. Child. <laughs> <laughs> <Chat. sighs> but I mean, oh, let's get on the same page here. I mean, like like I said, I'm I, I don't even if I if I do let's say I do assume, right? Okay. Because that's what I saw growing up, right? Right. If I assume and I see things that does not fit that characteristic, I'm not sticking around. I'm not doing it. And no, you can't wrong me for not sticking around because you're you still think you 22. Let's let's just be real mm -hmm. about what the facts are. The facts are is that it's a Western thing. It's very much uh, uh but there's uh, but there's women from other ethnic groups that are getting married at younger ages in the Western Hemisphere. Well, you got to think about it. Let's say you're a, your parents are, you're first gen. Let's say you're first gen. Mm -hmm. You've lived your entire, your parents have lived their half of their lives here. You've lived your entire life here. Mm -hmm. So you've taken on a lot of whatever your, your indigenous culture is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you also have become an American. And as an American, West, you have been indoctrinated at some point with Western culture. All right, so let's say this, right? I say American. At what age? At what age? At what age did your grandmother get married? I don't know. Like both before twenty five for sure. Okay, so it was once upon a time a thing within I, our culture. This is why. And 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 Rico, let me get you involved in this. We don't want him involved. No, we gotta involve him because no, I like. Right. I was waiting for her to finish. I like the con <laughs> I like the content that he put out. Right. Um, 
Thank you. For me, right? The, when I when I when I look back at my grandparents to my parents to us today, mm-hmm. you know, when I look back at that, I I I, I tend to to give men the blame as to why society is the way it is today. And the reason why I give the men the blame is because of what you said, right? A lot of the men back then didn't have consequences. They took advantage of the women. You know, they had families down the street, all of these things, you know what I'm saying? And and it was it was just advantage taking, right? So now, fast forward to our, our mothers where they not having it. They working two jobs and all that stuff to take care of the family. They not taking a man's foolishness. But now it's out of hand today because it's like giving a cow with a gun, right? So you, you got to understand women are coming from where they didn't have any rights at all to now where they have all the rights. So now it's like it's like a coward with a gun, right? So so if, 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 if I give a punk a gun, he feel like he invincible. Like who, who said what, where? <laughs> and that's and, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. that's what's going on to in today's society, and that's why we off balance today. First thing I want to, and that's the thing, the control, and that's the word. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the word y'all using today. But we'll get we'll, we'll touch on that in a second. Control. The the issue that I have is that we get we try to turn a blind eye to the reality, right? And I'm I'm talking about the perspective when Major Hype was talking about how basically older women are act, trying to act young. And the younger women are acting rampant, and then we sit here and we act like it's not a real thing. Mm-hmm. But well, but no, no 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 I, no I let, let you speak. Let them finish. Let them finish. Let them finish. What you mean by older women acting young? Like what 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 does that look like? That's what I'm trying to. Well, understand. I'll get into that afterwards. Okay. So when we have the women, the older women that want to act young, right? And and all fairness, realistically, let's just say if you're 35 and you're single. As a woman, you are competing with a 25-year-old single woman as well, which means you probably have to act somewhere near her realm, but also try to stand out at the same time. BBL. All of this. So the craziest thing is, in my mind, the first thing that I think about is when the first time I heard 40 is the new 30. That. And I and and I don't. That's if, where it came if from. If I had to, if I had to say where it came from, I don't think it came from a dude. It came from Jay Z. Jay Z said it. Oh, oh, who did it come from? Who did it come from? A Sagittarius. Sagittarius. It was a guy. I mean, I mean, that's what I mean. All right, so so, so wait, so wait, so wait. Let me not say it came from Jay Z. Okay, that's where I heard it from. Okay, because Jay Z, because Jay Z, if you if 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 you if you remember, Jay Z had retired. People were saying he was too old to rap, and then he started using the narrative that forty is the new thirty. That's why we don't trust Sagittarius to be in control. No, we we need a Sagittarius (laughs) to be in control. Don't do that. So you see what happens, but let's not do that. Don't play. But that was before his manipulation. Don't play. <laughs> Thank you well, for, for I, being a forthcoming but, with But even if, right? Absolutely. So let's say there was a silly Sag that was doing silly things, right? I never. But look at the, wait, wait, hold on, but wait, look at the wait. influence that the Sagittarius had on the no, world. No, he did a lot of great because he made everybody else lose their mind. But right. and that's the, and that's the worst part. He had boys the, out here wearing button-down shirts and jeans. Yeah, wait. A button-down hold shirt. Hold on. And Slow jeans. down. Let's start over. Right. Oh, Not start no. over. Let's pick up. So this is the thing. When it comes to a woman's value, I do think that it's men who create the the market for what is valuable. Okay, so my question is to you, mm-hmm. why do you do why do y'all do shit that we don't like if okay. we're the consumer? We don't care about no I never heard a dude go in the club and say, yo, I love her eyelashes. Okay, can I, can I, wait, can I actually have a, I actually have a great answer for that. Yo, this is about to get I know, real. I have a great, let me okay, remember y'all is remember so the sound. High. So this is the thing. You will probably look at a woman, right? Mm-hmm. And you be like, damn, she's gorgeous. You have no idea that one of the things that actually makes her face look as beautiful. How are you gonna tell me I don't have no <laughs> idea? Okay. How are you gonna tell me I don't got no idea? Okay. That doesn't make sense. He's in Atlanta. Because I'm looking at the woman. Houston. I'm looking at the woman. I'm not looking at your eyelashes. I'm not looking at the way you contoured your nose. I'm not looking at that. This is this is the thing. When it comes to beauty, it has a lot to do with symmetry, right? Why do you think that you always have women complimenting men on their eyelashes? Because eyelashes... Women compliment men on their eyelashes? Yes. yes. They do. Yes. Yes. Have you ever seen a beat face That's without it. lashes? No, if a man has... Yeah, I have. 
No. Absolutely, I have. No, if no. Get my side profile. <laughs> Like, 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 for instance, my, my, husband, <laughs> my husband has beautiful eyelashes. Even my, my little nephew, when I see him. Yo, wait, stop it. I'm not doing this your, right Your now. husband's Jamaican, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not And what does he say when you tell him that? <laughs> oh, I don't, huh? he know. I'm, when you be like, babe, you got some beautiful eyelashes, you don't be like, oh, where y'all talk about? I don't, I don't say it anymore. Like, I haven't Why? Seen Why not? Years. Why not? Because she's been with the man. You so you don't you, like um, Mrs. Johnny Cochran, could you please? <laughs> how do you know what how do you know what happens in their house? I'm, no, no. Listen, this, I'm saying that for my friend. Okay. So this, no, this is the thing. And I literally had this conversation in our group chat the other day. Like the you may find a woman beautiful, but what makes her beautiful? Okay, go ahead. So, so, so my thing is this, right? Did he just sure. cut you off? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't say anything. No, no. I just did like this. He was, he was preparing. So I just like, did like what? this. I'm gonna let you go. So, go so, 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 are men wrong, right? And I'm asking you and this young lady over mm-hmm. here: Are men wrong when you create this facade, right? Because majority of what you're sh- what you're showing us is a facade. It's it's makeup, it's eyelashes, it's fake hair, it's fake nails, it's it's spanks, it's waist mm-hmm. trainers, it's all of these things. False advertisement. Mm-hmm. Right? False advertisement. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Did I say that? Right? When I, the consumer, <laughs> like the product, and then the product doesn't turn into what the product actually changes when I take it home and buy it, and I say, Oh, wait, this is not the product that I wanted. Where's your receipt? <laughs> when I ghost you, why am I an asshole? Well, I think the the problem is if you're going after women who have on caked up makeup. You see now, you see. No, 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 it, de- no, no, no. It's it depends you, no, it's on this. Who you choose. Well, no, no, no. Let's let's not go there. Y'all niggas always be talking about like choose better, choose better. No. Who said it's choose about better? Everybody. All. Oh, uh, not all. I'm sorry. Many men are always like, oh, women, y'all make poor decisions. Choose y'all better. Y'all do. Agree. And, and I'm not against that. But what I'm saying is that like. You're going after women with a Do you really do you realize that we live in a society where everybody looks the same? Do we look like? Do we look like? You will you got next foundation? week. Listen, she will have short blonde hair. Do you next got on makeup? Yeah, I think. Okay, so then y'all look the same. The camera, and no, we have no. a platform. We have yeah. to come prepared. Anybody makeup who and sees hair me every, Monday all the to time. during Monday to Sunday, baby, Aaron Campbell wears. How many times? Makeup. How many times have you called the girl right, Facetime her, and she's showing you her ceiling? I look a mess right now. Yeah, all the time. I don't know <laughs> even women. Have, we don't even know what they look like. I think sometimes. We actually, I, that's not the that's not the done. question at hand though. Okay. You know the crazy thing is that's not the question. Let's rephrase at hand. the question. How many women do you think, ladies, wear makeup at least half of the year? Give me a percentage. Half of the year? What do you mean? Like, cause obviously you're not gonna wear makeup oh, I mean, every like single days? day. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Uh, so if we had to say, out of a twelve month period, how many of them? How many women do you think put on makeup when they go out? At least half of the time. Go out like to an event or go out to like I yeah shop right. Out to no, what's she's trying grocery. to dip it yeah no, dip but and it dodge. Is a good question because I can say I only put on makeup when I come to eight at the table. You see me in Westchester a week. Yeah. When you see me in Westchester at the UPS, baby, you gonna get nothing. Okay. You get moisturizer. Okay, so I'm asking when <laughs> you decide to go. So that look, is it. look when we come to eight at the table, we are on moisturizer. Right. So what I'm trying to say is any event that you any event that you ladies deem to be something of some importance. Right. Somewhere where you can network, somewhere you can build, somewhere where you actually want to look good at. How often do you go out there in these events, these spaces Mm -hmm. without makeup? I would say that. Well, so your initial question was percentage of the year. I'd say percentage of the year is probably half. Because um, so half the time you come here with no makeup. We, I've never seen. No, it. Saying half right. of the year. Yeah, I, I said the. I mean, oh, in, the first, in, to, in totality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So answering the first question, maybe half, and then when it comes to going to an event, there's no way I would be out with no makeup on. Because, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, one, first of all, 
if, if that's the case, I should just wear my jeans to the event, my jeans and my sneakers. What's your je- what is, an important what does your clothing have to do with yeah, without, enhancement? Without looking your fucking Thank cleanest? You. you can get your hair done and not wear makeup, though. No, no, right. no, no, no. no. I mean, so I mean, we can compare it. No, no, what do you say, Ron? Ron got something to say. He said it's out Listen, fucking rages. No, no. One of the reasons one of the reasons that I, I, I came here is like I want to be as real as possible. Thank and you. based on a, a lot of things that I've been exposed to, women have a lot of preconceived notions of what we think is important. I agree. And we don't care about it. Like I, I just said. We so whether you walked in here with makeup or not, we don't care. If you're beautiful, you're beautiful. If you're beautiful, you're beautiful. But at the same time, that's what causes a lot of stress in relationships and everything else because you have preconceived emotions on what we think is important and what's not important. Because because you know what I mean? Because what did you think that our producer, who was a man, would say when we walk in here without makeup, Thank you. Ready to record. What would you think that this man would say? I used to come here. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. But we're in a vacuum here. I'm like, nah. Because he <laughs> no. Because he probably thinks. We don't that know you, what it looks like. Like, a couple gotta, blemishes he wants you, you to. You're crazy. My shit is clear. My, my, my shit is clear. My shit is clear. <laughs> All right. Y'all got me so, fucked up. If you see me in the streets of Westchester County, New York, or in Harris stop County, giving away, Texas, stop giving away your. Uh, uh, fuck, no, don't do that. But they might see you and my, be like, my skin gonna that's her. <laughs> my skin going to be clear. My, thank you. My skin going to be clear. Fuck out of here. And my teeth going to be straight. Damn. <laughs> you didn't do the lips. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what I'm saying is, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, it's to, be, to, 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 to piggyback off of what you said, it's really not about the consumer in today's society because y'all compete against each other. Y'all don't y'all don't do anything for us because if you ask the average man, we couldn't give a shit about none of that stuff y'all do. And at the end of the day, I don't want to be uh 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 Hoodwigged or lied to. I don't want to think that, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be bamboozled or none of that. You know what I'm saying? And, and and at the end of the day, I understand if we're out, we're in a set uh, in a in a in a gathering or a club or something, you got on a little foundation or whatever, that's cool. Because you're gonna go out and you're gonna you're gonna handle yourself the right way. But if me and you talk and I get your number and tomorrow I try to call you and you talking about oh I you know I look a mess I can't look in the in FaceTime <laughs> I don't want to look at your ceiling either it's called FaceTime not ceiling time okay and let me see the real you let real. me see, let the, me real see the real you that's fair because at the end of the day at what point do I see the real you and then because now we done had sex we are on. We starting to talk. Yeah, with, <laughs> with makeup with on makeup. because you got makeup on my pillowcases now. I got to throw that whole set away. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> now I see the real you, and I'm like, uh oh, that blemish right there. I don't like that. Not that blemish right there. Uh uh-uh, uh, I don't like that right That's there. That's not gonna happen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't yeah, like. But this, I'm right? just saying. We're not so, gonna so, point so that out. Now, so now. The dude might look at you in a different light now because he all he used to seeing is this person with the makeup and the eyelashes and the this and the that and all that other stuff. That's a whole bar, yeah. Why do you think, no, but like really, like do men express that? I don't know. Why do you know. think they don't? We turn all on the wrapped at a club. It. You think we always want to see a a a a, a, a screen door in the front of your head? I don't know. You think that's what we want to see all the that time? Back on, child. <laughs> Cut it out, cause this is Indian. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out before I show you a second hairstyle and pull that off. No. Oh, oh, no. Maybe got it. Oh, no. We all we all know you got the Island Amazon braids under there. Chill out. I don't because I have a short hair. We know you got the not the same a, girl from the I'm video. Gonna <laughs> I'm gonna catch a straight punch. <laughs> I'm going to catch a straight punch here. <laughs> the viewers know. You can't even clown me. The viewers know. Stop it. Chill out. Stop. I feel like you confrontational. Oh, I, I am. Wow. This is outrageous. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I am very confrontational. Are you intimidated? I, intimidated? Yo, let me tell you something. I say this everywhere I go, right? And I feel like black women are the dopest women on the face of the earth. I just feel like they don't know that, right? So they tend to do things to try to fit in with everybody else when y'all are the real leaders of this shit. Y'all not being authentic to yourselves anymore. Agreed. 
I can't say I can have said it any better. I, I mean, better. I would love to just like nobody want to see y'all put that little ponytail on the back of y'all head all the way down to y'all back, and it's not your hair. I mean, wait, this, wait, so I, we don't this like is, that. Look, look I, I hate to do it. I gotta do it. Rico, if you even use me, I gotta do it. Example, this I'm is definitely a white woman's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's likely, like, this is giving. No, it's likely not. A white woman's hair. Sure. Well, first of all, and no, it's I no, it's not. It's not a white woman's hair. I meant it's a hairstyle. No, it's a it's an Indian woman's hair. I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> I tried to get it, but it is not working. But what what I'm saying is, I, I I do agree with him because we do have on a day to day. It's like, what do y'all expect us to do, right? I see women that go ahead and say all of these outrageous things because a man double liked, double tapped, and liked a photo of a girl of how she looks. So that means that that's all we want. So now all the girls try to be all of that one person, all of that I, one picture. I've heard right? it so many I'm times. Honest, like, I, I will be so honest. I, I heard it this, so many times. This is like. News to me. What's so, news to you? I don't know any of this. You, like somebody. What you mean? Do you think we progress you know why? as you, we get older? But do, do you know why? Do you know why this is news to you? Because women stop listening to men. No, I know what. And they don't ask. No. No, no you know what your husband likes. Oh, yeah. Because, because that's your husband. And doesn't have to. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't. <laughs> do, you think that, do you think that we're attracted? Penny? Do you think Penny? we're attracted to the same woman this that we were This is why I don't date 25 years old. This is why I don't date 25 years so, you, so do you think that we're attracted to the same woman as when we were 20, as when we were 40? Do you think like that we haven't changed at all our taste or the way that we've developed? I don't know. know what, developed? What, I mean, no, it let, is. let me know because I really don't know. It does. So, so for example, like, you know, I'm a little older. I'm 50 years old. So I mean, damn. you know. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't don't miss miss damn, and he 52. Damn. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm joking, damn. You so, make a joke, I'll make a joke. <laughs> so, I, I mean, you know, if, if I go out and I'll go to nightclubs like Live or Mansion or whatever, and, and there's a younger crowd, do you think we still feel comfortable in that environment? We might not, you know, because we've, yeah. we've kind of progressed a little bit because right. sometimes, you know, again, it's an expectation of what we think. You know, are we in the club like, wow. Oh, look at her, look at her, look at her. It's 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 that's not like that. But you guys think that we still think Wait, that way. Not look looking so is look, there's looking a point is of one looking thing. and there's a point of, of wanting. Just, exactly. Looking and wanting is two and different that's things. Asking because you, you said looking. That's why I'm 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 I wanna Looking and want that see, and again, in relationships and what I do and everything else, sometimes people come in, well, he's doing this, well, he's when, doing when, that. When, when, How do you know? You know what the craziest thing is? These young women, in my opinion. These young these young women are looking older. When you say young, what, what age group are you talking about? Oh. I would say twenty to twenty five, right? Okay. Or eight, let's let's even go eighteen to twenty five. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. it's her. Okay. Um so these Amandas are looking young. Uh, oh, these Amandas, <laughs> these Amandas. He's got a name for them. <laughs> The younger women are looking older, and these older women are looking younger, which mm -hmm. I think is a great thing when older women do look younger, because that shows that you're taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. hopefully without Or you're spending a lot of money. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what happens is, as a man, it's like, now we really just took mature women and young women and put them all into one like category, and you're ask asking us to sift through these to understand who's who mm -hmm. and what's what. Right. But the real the realest thing is an older woman has to act young to blend in. And uh, blend in with, with the younger women. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and then the the younger women have to act older to blend in. So now when it comes push comes to shove, once we start dating is when we actually start to figure out who you really are. And that's why we're it's always too late for us cuz we're like we've already invested X amount of time for whatever reason, you know, that we liked you for, and now we're like, guess what? Either you're too young-minded because that's what you've been trying to convince yourself that's what you are, or you think you're too grown and you don't know enough because that's what you try to convince yourself And then when you try you to are. teach them, you're controlling. I don't think it's I don't think it's the high maintenance that's keeping them single. I think it's the attitude. The brain, yep. It's the attitude towards the towards men in society today. What place? Does men hold in society to you? I think that men are incredibly important to our society. I think that they are equally as important as women. I in what aspect? 
in, in everything, in the economy, in, in technology, in our homes, in, in marriages, in parenting. Like, there is no space where a man is not as important as a woman is. So it, I, I, let's, let's let her answer okay. before we, okay. before we I, get I, into I, it. I, I do I agree really with Erin on the whole this. equality thing, but... But I, I didn't say feel... anything about equal. See, that's the thing. Like, you I, said, well, no, no, wait, stop. I never said equal. You don't have to I never stop. said, like, equity. <laughs> I'm, 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 I, never, <laughs> I never said anything. The thing is that you already have a judgment in your mind, so that's the way you perceived it. The thing is that I don't... I, I said from the jump, I have no... Know nothing against men. Like I, we we need men just as much as like we fucking need air. Well, know? I think the so, comment no, that he was saying. No, no, no but no. The, 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 what, what the problem is is that he wants a fucking accolade. No, we want to uh, answer. Like, no, no, thank you. No, go show your show us your colors. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep going. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Y'all might want to talk about this in the green room. <laughs> Let her go. The, the thing is that. I don't look at men as like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking live or die without it. But I also see like, as a man, I don't see them looking at women like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking live or die without her. Thank That's you. That's crazy. So, you know, Thank you. So That's crazy. Right. This is, oh, that is wait, nuts wait, wait, that you said that. I just want to say one thing. Wait, wait, can I say I one thing? I wait, hold on. Wait, I'm gonna, wait, wait, wait. Before we, before we say this, before we say anything, guys, we also had Aaron just say, I think we need men, men just as much as air. And then double back and say, Let them eat cake. I said that today. It's live. Oh. I literally said that. What the yesterday? You said what? I you know said who that said yesterday. that yesterday? What she said? Um, let them, you said the let them wait. I said let them eat cake. The queen. Something of the French Revolution. Yeah. Can you yeah. answer the question? Off with their heads. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, so I think that where the confusion came in was Aaron says that I think that women are as valuable in society as men. And I think that's where Rico got the equality thing. She from. said equal, but we can go. Okay, sure, fine. I think that <laughs> men's value in society are important because I see men as leaders of society. I think that men are leader, are supposed to be leaders in relationships, in the workforce. We all know men's place in the world, what what they're supposed to be anyway. And I, I think that that's... When you say we all, who are you talking about? Herself. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I, I, miss, soci I cool. miss society. Cool. <laughs> I mean, you think society knows men's men's place in, in, in society? I mean... She's 25. I, Just finish. I, I, I think just, maybe... I am 25, but... Well, wait, yeah, let her finish. Yeah. But I feel like... Even in the workforce, men get paid higher than women. W men are placed above women in yeah, all I'm aspects in, in in life. It, it, is that I, I'm, and I'm not lying when I say that. Um, but it's for a reason. You guys are leaders. I'm not saying that we aren't supposed to be equal. I mean, pay wise, we are supposed to be equal. But men are supposed to be leaders. So I feel like men. So are, just pay wise, we supposed to be equal. I mean, if we're doing the same work, then why not? So that, but, but my question is, the only place we're supposed to be equal is in is pay pay wise. They don't fucking. I'm like, are you tripping me up? Like, what, what are you? Saying? I'm just <laughs> repeating what you said. That's what you said. You said, it pay wise, we should be equal. Yeah, because I said that you guys get paid higher than we do. Right. Where should we lead? That's what so, people asking. I said in relationships. Yes, I said I I literally lead? said that. I said in relationships, men are supposed to be the leaders. Not equal, but the leaders. Yes, the lead the leaders. <laughs> this the the spirit of his question. I think the spirit the of his skill? question. The spirit of his question was kind of like the this impact on your life with men being. I know exactly what he, what he was. What he was trying the spirit to do. The spirit, but yeah, if, you think, I feel, if you think I feel about like, it. I feel like most men in the, in the room, well, probably not Ron, but most men in the room. <laughs> Why not Ron? Because I'm not going to go there. No, not because you're a snitch, sir. No, <laughs> not because you're a snitch. No, 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 no. Listen, hey. I'm good. Hey, I don't have no problem with nobody, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, not Ron, but um, I think that most men in the in in the room probably would feel like their 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 position in 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 society has depreciated. 
The problem is how much do you think that we give it importance? So let's just take a quick let, let's, let's just take a quick Ooh. look at this. So if a guy or a girl was on a desert island, mining, being able to hunt or eat just emotionally, what do you think is going to last longer? We literally had this conversation. The, did, did you? The, I, no, did you? Wait, 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 wait. Did you really? Last week. I'm just yeah. saying. No, can I answer? Sure. The, the the person who has the skills, because I'm I'm almost sure. No, 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 no. no you see, this is this is no, 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 no. this is what no, the problem no, 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 no. is. But no, no, he asked me a question, so allow me to answer. It's not you did. No, but it's, go it's, ahead. About, it's about a skill set because I can guarantee, I can do way more than some of the men in this room. I doubt. You got me. Uh, you, you, but you not, have not to, me. You have to defeat. Which man? Not me. You have to defeat not the me. mental part of it. Okay. Being alone. How long could we be alone? in this room. Huh? Indefinitely. Right? So, 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 so my question to you is this, right? If, uh. That was crazy. If, if we're driving down the highway and you get a flat and I'm in the passenger seat, you going to get out and change the tire? Oh boy. Whether you know how to do it or not? No, I'm going to call the service. Oh, you're gonna call a service. And the service is but you're who? gonna expect him to change. No, 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 no. But no. when the service who comes, is who is it gonna be? Who is no 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 Marie, stop. Who is the service? Guys, guys, I'm talking The to service you. is a man. No woman is coming out in no fucking tow truck to change a tire. If we pull up to a gas station in Atlanta, who's gonna pump the gas? I drive an electric car. Oh, Jesus Christ. Guys, yeah, she guys, does. Aaron, she does though. I just gotta say one thing. Uh, she charged no, that bitch. I don't wanna hear nothing. <laughs> they just tell me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. The thing with women, but, like it's it's having to like repeatedly stroke a man's ego. Like I if I can't, if that's I can't, bullshit. It's, it's a problem of being I'm real. That's bullshit. It's a problem being real and accepting to be that's real. Bullshit. So if we're real, let's just all agree that that's the way it is. Do I know do I know how to do I know how to hang she rock? Yes. Do I know how to tape and float? Yes. Can, can you type in flow? Absolutely. Okay, you Caribbean, so I get it. Uh, oh no, 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 not because I'm, I'm Caribbean, but because I, because I was I a foreman. Exactly. But that's not the point. The point is, I am giving you props because at the end, the finished product is what we want to get to. Thank so, you. Okay, so whatever means necessary that you did to finish the product, I give you props. You made a phone call and you got a couple of guys to finish the product. I get it. Where he's coming couple from of guys? Is, is if there was nobody to. Let's do call it. ten women. Right. If there was nobody to do it. And we had to do it; it would be a different situation. Like I think this is the thing men don't understand. Real quick, can a woman do it? Wait, do baby, have, you have a mic. Ability? Hold on now, if I may. Do we have the? I'm just gonna speak for myself. Do you have the ability, the cognition to do it? Of course, a woman has the cognition to do it. Now, do you? And I'm gonna speak for myself. What I want to. Be Damn it, she's got it right. No, I don't. She nailed it. But this is the thing she I've been saying the whole time. She, she, she nailed it. No, she, she did it. not. I want everybody to slow. <laughs> slow. No, no, no. no, no cause the, okay, so all right. It's a desire. It's a desire to do it. Calm down. Okay. Right? Calm down. I just want to ask so, so, so one you don't, question. So, so, wait, so wait, wait. Let, let me just say one thing. Please, please, one thing. So you don't believe in gender roles? No, I do. I never Ooh. said I do. Do you believe in gender roles? I do. Okay, so what are we talking about then? Because at the end of the day, if we believe in gender roles, and we as men are telling you that we don't feel like we have a place in society, clearly that means that somebody's take overtaking our shit. Somebody's somebody's doing what we feel like we should be doing. So so that's what I'm saying. So if we if we believe in gender roles, then we shouldn't even be having this conversation. I know, gender roles, but that's why gender, I, gender roles um, run rampant in my house. I, I can't speak for nobody else. They 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 100 run rampant in my house. But that's why I spoke on like and, and in the house that I grew up in. So I, I'm I, trying to help. Can we understand one up. thing? I like. I've been, wait, hold on. I've been letting everybody talk, but this shit sounds so crazy to me because at the end of the day, I don't even care about what has been, what knowledge has been acquired. At the end of the day, the knowledge was given by whom to build. It wasn't. Nothing mm. came from a woman that came with cementing a road. No, a man cemented the road, found out how to do it, and taught women how to do it. But I don't so, no, 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 he, he didn't no. teach he didn't teach women how to do it. No. They they wanted to learn how to do it on their own. And they probably did what? Watch a man do it. Absolutely. At the end of the day, all of the knowledge that we're talking about to literally sustain life, not give life, I give y'all that, but to sustain 
but to sustain life came from a man at some point. Guess what? If Aaron taught Marie or Marie taught Aaron, but guess what? Maybe Marie's dad taught Marie. So Marie's you're, dad did teach Marie. So now, so what is it? Where is it coming from? And Aaron's it's dad coming, but, taught Aaron. And guess who it came but from? But guess what? A man. But guess what happens, Rico? Guess I'm what happens, to Rico? We keep on. Guess what happens, though? But guess what happens? Except breastfeeding. But guess what happens? Guess what happens? They take that. From the man. And say, we don't need you no more. Right, But exactly. you needed a man to learn it. Exactly. That's, That's what I'm trying to tell you. Bro. So Whitney Marie, she was actually on earlier in Y'all's Live. Um, she said, she said, when do we see guys without hats or jewelry? And I think that was in response to like the whole makeup and like uh, lace fronts and nails or whatnot. Jewelry is not a facade. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. And so, was, I mean, hats could be a facade. So I think yeah. we wear it because we because like it. Because a lot it. of people don't have, a lot of people don't have, you dumb. Hats could, hats, hats could kind of hide your, your, your hairline and your bald spot and oh, stuff yeah. like that. So that might be a facade. Mm -hmm. But. No, I just oh. want to see if it was soft. It oh, looked, it's it definitely soft. soft. He said it. No, it, it looks it, soft. What is it? It's yeah. Indian, right? No, it looks soft. So I just wanted to touch it. I think we wear jewelry because we like it, not because anybody else really want, thinks what you know. Because we just like that particular piece, or we want to wear something. I think so. Really? And for those that don't know, I wearing think it's a gold statement. is definitely a health benefit. Wearing what? Gold. How much? What is the percentage of wearing gold? What do you mean? What is because the percentage? Because it's not like if you wear a 14 carat. No, nah, you would typically wear 22. Yeah, I was going to say, you would want to wear a 22 carat. Most people do not wear 22. Most people don't know, so we're informing them here at 8 at the Table. So wearing gold is actually a great health, health benefit. It helps regulate the electricity in your body. And um, if you're going to wear jewelry, make sure you're wearing it for the right purposes. What, level, what carat is this that? This is my mom's wedding mm -hmm. ring. So I carat can't is that? Away. Zero. And that's <laughs> What'd you say? Wait, what was the question? <laughs> I missed it. Oh, we I missed asked, it. I asked her what carrot is the hair she earring. Zero. She said zero. Because my real shit is at home. He stops the conversation. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, stop the conversation. Like, eight at the table's in here. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Absolutely. Come on, man. All right. You, you know, get down. You know, <laughs> we all got to be equal. <laughs> Rico, can I actually ask you a question? Oh, Rico quit. I don't want to talk to Aaron. I don't talk to Aaron today. Okay, Mr. Hyde. So, and I appreciate you asking me the question about, like, what do I feel like men bring to society? Mm -hmm. Can you um, answer that on the opposite side of the spectrum? Don't do it. She didn't give us one. <laughs> I did. I gave, I gave a lot. Gave us what? Yo. Don't even be hating on Mary right now. I literally said I value Mary, men. Her name is not Mary. It's Molly. Yeah. See? Okay. That's what Molly. I so the, that's let's not do the Mary. It's Molly. Comes with yeah. The, with the no, information. No, but this information has been off today. Her yeah, name it's was, been off. Her name is Theory. No, but wait. But wait. <laughs> Major. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Hype. We have, we have mm -hmm. something. I said, well, Fatty's back. <clears throat> I don't want to. Oh, shout out, shout out to can, Fatty. Can we, can we hear what Mr. Yeah, Hype has to sure, say, and then we'll we'll, we'll do Fatty. You want the regular question, or the, I mean, the regular answer, or the long winded answer? No, like I want like whatever your real like first. So, 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 so my 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 theory in a woman's uh, position, right? Um, majority of of the guys that are around today are men that were raised by their mother, right? Single moms, right? So being raised by your mother as a young man growing up, you have this, first of all, your mother is the first woman that you'll ever fall in love with, supposedly, right? This woman is going to nurture you. She's going to tell you everything is okay. She's going to you know, make sure that you're okay. She's going to make sure you eat. She's going to make sure all of these things. When we become men, we look for those same qualities in women because y'all are naturally nurturers, right? So when we grow older, we expect those things from our women as well. Not that we want our mothers, but we want the qualities that our mothers have hold in our lives. Y'all don't hold those those characteristics no more. Most women don't don't make sure they man eat or say, you know, did you eat today or stuff like that. And that's 
part of the things that we lack in society because y'all too busy trying to do masculine shit that y'all forget what y'all own position is. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. What's the masculine so, shit? Masculine shit. First of all, when I was grow when I was growing up, men could watch basketball and women didn't even want to look at it when I was growing up. Now we can't have sports for ourselves. We can't have nothing for ourselves. <laughs> we can't we have nothing. So you're against women? I'm not saying I didn't sports? say I was against no, anything. I'm asking, I'm asking. Let's not put the words in my mouth about the against thing, because I'm not against anything. I'm saying that we don't have anything for ourselves anymore. Because y'all so busy fighting for equality that y'all want to do what we do. Men used to ride motorcycles at one point where it was a man's thing. Yo, let's go out, let's ride the bikes. Women are riding bikes now. It's nothing that we have for ourselves. But me, as far as you asking me the question of what a woman, what a woman's place in society is, a woman is 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 is, is necessity. You understand? What I'm saying, men, we are careless. We are sometimes irresponsible. Women are planners. Women will make sure that you are okay. They'll make sure that you uh that 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 you don't spend loosely. They make sure they know how to spend money wisely. You could give a woman five dollars every every month, and she'll come back with five thousand dollars at the end of the year. They're, women are more responsible than us. They're planners. They they're nurturers. But then at the same time, there's women that want to be men at the same time, and it, it, to me, it's confusing. What what was see? This is the problem with women; they don't listen. If you listen to what he said, oh man, I'm leaving. What he said was this: I'm coming. he said, I'm he said, We're out of here. I look, look, major hype. Correct me if I'm wrong, because my ears work very well. Mm -hmm. Major, I know. Major hype said, I won't take a girl out. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. there's a big difference when a girl is asking to take me out. So if you ask to take me out, then I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna require you to. You know what I'm saying? Do your well. I think I, I think I think I, I think it should I think it should go. But look again. This is masculine. I think it should again. go hand in hand. <laughs> I think it should go hand in hand because to me it depends on who who invite who out. Agreed. Right. So if you asking me to go out, you don't know how my pocket is. So you must have it right. if you asking me to go out because you don't know what my pockets look like. So if I'm going out and you if if I'm in my crib chilling and you like oh let's go grab a bite to eat, but me as a man. You checking your pockets? I'm, no, exactly. me as a man, I'm still not letting you pay. Right. I'm be honest. Right. That that that's just me. That I grew up with. But we can. I'm still not generation. letting you pay. So my grandmother is the one that raised me, because mm -hmm. you know, my mom actually worked at that time, mm -hmm. and his answer was, it was on the money. I think we look for a little bit of support, reassurance when I think that we're a little bit. And when he asks you the question, it's like, what part of men in society? I think we look for a little bit of reassurance, a little bit of Absolutely. stabilization when we're feeling insecure because we grew up in a generation where we didn't have anybody to ask a question to except mm -hmm. his mom or my grandma. Mm -hmm. Whether it was, what should I wear today? What should I eat today? Where should I Absolutely. go? Who should I play with? And that carries on. The new generation, I think they have a little bit of that. But still, even if they said, hey, let's go out tonight, you're going to look in your pockets and you're going to find a way to pony up. Let's talk about upbringing. Yes, it's important. Right? Upbringing is very important, Incredible. right? And a lot of people don't even pay attention to upbringing, right? But in a, on a whole, right, women are, are raised based off of fantasy. That's important or is that true? No, it's important. Like the, the fact that you're saying that it's important. They're built. They, they, their lives are 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 fantasy lives. Like you're as a little girl, you're growing up playing with dolls. You playing with. You got the little tea parties. You got the house thing. You got all of this shit going on that probably won't happen later on in life for you, right? The G wagons. Right? <laughs> then you got the little boys that grow up in reality. Which what's reality? Outside. Reality is. I'm getting Tonka trucks, I'm getting tools, I'm getting all of these things that I'm going to be doing maybe later on in life. So you grow up with this fantasy thing that you're going to find this man that's going to sweep you off your feet and he's going to give you this perfect life and all of this. And we are thinking, okay, we got to work, we got to bust our ass, we got to do all these things. And it, 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 I think it's a, a, a sort of disappointment between the two because at the end of the day, I'm I'm looking for something but I'm 
I'm sticking to what I'm sticking to, though. I'm sticking to what I was raised on. I was raised on Tonka trucks, doing construction, and all of these other things. Think about our toys as kids growing up. Tonka. We had fake, guy, Tonka. fake lawnmowers. Right. We had all of these things. The the lawnmowers Lace. that you push and bubbles come Lace out. Play school. All this foolishness. And then y'all got... All Nintendo. Doll houses oh, and yeah. Barbie and all of these other things. And, uh, so y'all, y'all but look... Bedazzle they beads. They also got... Kitchens. <laughs> and they still don't do that. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of women that had big easy bake ovens that can't bake and can't cook right now. I can do both. So just think of how how easy it was. Can you bake? Can you bake? How easy it was for us to answer that question. Who raised us? What you cook? Like professional. What's, like like what's your like what's your thing when you when you wanna when you wanna like whoa somebody with your meal? Not Alfredo. <laughs> Not Alfredo. The package. The package. Fox mac and cheese. No, no, I don't even eat that. I'm just no, I'm, I'm joking. I don't like how everybody else be act, answering for her. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm no, not feeling she, that. She's like a real exactly. professional from a baker. All right, so we're going to go back to the question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you cook to wow somebody? Yeah, I'm just wanting to know. What's going on here? I can make uh, steak and shrimp. Steak and shrimp. You don't sound confident enough for me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about your filet big nog. I don't know about that. I'll do a steak and shrimp. I mean, a good steak isn't easy. A good steak ain't easy. Oh. If you don't know how to do it, then Come on, uh, stop it. vegetarian pasta is the way to go. Vegetarian pasta? She's just mm -hmm. thinking on her feet. Rasta pasta. I don't even eat rasta That's my girl, pasta. but like... But that's vegetarian pasta. Leave her alone. She I now got it. Rasta pasta without meat. <laughs> actually. Really? That's weird. You know what's you funny? meat, is it? No, I said I've never had rasta pasta without meat. Oh. Uh -uh. For the longest time, I thought... For the longest time, I thought Aaron couldn't cook, right? I'm just being honest. And Aaron used to start showing us. Texas, though. Yeah, but like, like. I have no idea why you thought at my big age that I can't cook. It's with the, a husband. It's the with head. A husband. And from okay, downtown, forget it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that I can't cook? Come on, it's chess, not checkers. She did prove me wrong with some what of she, her. What did she, she cook that wowed you? She, well, the, the, the best thing that I saw, right? Saw or tasted? So I think it was pictures. I think it was, it was pictures. pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. you didn't taste it. I, I still have. Yeah, that's not. Time. That's a no go for me, bro. But I'm just giving her props. I'm because, just saying that's a no go. You she could had a whole tomahawk. You know what I'm saying? And what? I'm like, damn. A steak. Right. Yeah. Mm. No, like I can't steak is up. like the easiest thing to cook, bro. No, for me, for me, it's not. It's like the hardest thing to cook. For real? Yeah. But I, I'm not gonna lie, tomahawk. Like the the, the piece she had. Like is it? For me, because that wasn't that was. If you didn't taste it, I don't want to hear about it. I'm sorry. Then I. I <laughs> yeah. You didn't I taste it. Saying. I want to hear about it. Food could look delicious. It could taste like shit, though. That's true. <laughs> but did you? But did you barbecue Spoon it? A little chives. <laughs> no, it's not barbecue. Ah, uh, uh, she didn't barbecue it. You have to understand. You have to understand that that we were the last generation before technology. Before not even before technology, but before. A lot of shit. Right. Yes. Like, or heavy like, media. Like, you got to understand, we were the last generation that dealt with dial-up and Walkmans yes. and, and shit like that. No, 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 no. no. Y'all had natural women. <laughs> Millennials don't know nothing about that. What actually happened was, if you if we talk about generation, all right, so I don't, what is it called? Gen X, that was before Millennials? So X right. is, it's X, which is Allen, and then there's Millennials, Millennials. which is us. We Barely, but yeah. I'm on and the. Then yeah. there's there's who, the, who's after us? the Z. Z is yeah. Yeah. Z. So if you if, if, if I hope I'm still an X. Yeah, you're right. Okay, thank God. If I had to actually <laughs> give a um perspective, I would say that let's just say Gen X, right, had more stability, but realistically they had more foundation, which is what gave them stability. So my question is this: We blame. What's the generation after us? The millennials? millennials? Millennials. We blame the millennials for a lot of stuff, right? However, the millennials is our children. Yep. No, they're, it's your, no, they're not your children. Yeah, they are. They're some of the, cousins. Some basically. of them are. They're like your some first of them. Because there's only a 15 year. 15 years between, yeah. between generations. Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah. then they're not. 15? Yeah. The yeah, next so one. Like my dad is like the end of boomers. 
So my so she's a what? She's a Z. A That's Z. the one that Z. you're really what? talking about. Okay, Z. Z. Yeah, you're blaming the Z, Z, which Z, obviously. So I don't even really count. Z, Z is the children of, of X. Z she, is the children She said what? I don't know. It's a Z thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think Z. Z, 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 Z like, uh, Z's are children. She started talking in Lil Uzi. Z's are the children. You're speaking Kodakian? So, but the reason why that, but look. But major hype. The reason why it's called millennials is because that's the time frame they'll be growing up in. Not like, when you're born. Not when you're born. Gen. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why I said I'm the first year of Gen Z. Which is still weird. Gen Z. <laughs> like you missed the cutoff, sweetheart. <laughs> wow. What is an alpha woman? I want to know. I don't know. What is that? The Gen Z knows. What's an alpha woman? Lead in his feminine energy. Because <laughs> it sounds like. like we're, honestly, like I would like to know from like a, a man's perspective, like a woman living in her masculine energy. What does that look like to you? Because it, we're, we're asking questions, but I think we have to define. Can I just what it say? Like. Can I just quote? Do, if I do quotes, hopefully that paints a picture. True. I don't need a nigga. <laughs> 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 I, I hope that these paint pictures. We can do everything you do. Uh, that's too. I don't need to put any of a shit. Yeah, <laughs> I can do bad all by myself. There we go. That's four. I, I whatever those look like. I well, hope. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't know what that looks like. So, so what does living she doesn't in, live in masculine America. energy looks like? Look like because I, I feel like someone who 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 looks at me and says okay you have a career first no, oh no no let me finish <laughs> what is living in masculine energy i don't even understand what that's that means i didn't present this question that's why i'm asking you guys what it what it means i don't oh, know so, so what we're that all a little confused like. here so so what, uh, what, so, so that, that, that's what i'm saying so the same it's the same thing as you right. saying that you're an alpha alpha female it sounds like you're saying you're a straight gay guy it doesn't make sense <laughs> A man, in my opinion, is operating in feminine energy. You said to be real. Gossiping on the phone. Yeah. You gossiping uh, like a woman, in my opinion. That's female energy. You yes. over here talking, talking about, about another dude is female energy to me. That is regular men. Gossip is not Listen, a woman. There's a difference between no, this. Gossip is not a woman. Gossip. Are you serious? Are you seriously Absolutely. saying that? You it should be, but y'all what, men, men adapted it from women. Because <laughs> we had to be equal. Oh. full of men. That started in beauty salons. <laughs> so, why, so wait, so why are y'all gossiping? If it started in a beauty salon, why is it not in the beauty salon? I, I could get why into that, but I'm going to leave it alone. Because the barber is the feminine mm, one. Is that, if gossiping was an Olympic that, event. Get into it about you telling your friends about who y'all sleeping with or how it was. That's weird. That's bro code. Oh, that, no, that's bro code. That's bro code. That's gossip. Son, I took her down, son. That's, yeah, that's not gossip. That's bro code. That's not that's gossip. Not gossip. It's facts. You know what gossip is? Can I can I say something? I actually think that like <laughs> this, <laughs> this cre the fuck are you saying? Those are the feminine. That's terrible. But I think the <laughs> those are the feminine. <laughs> those are the feminine. You been with a man that don't oh, eat pussy shut before? Up. You. Oh, shut up. I <laughs> pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> this you is. You been I with a dude that don't eat pussy? I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> you really you, like him? You, and you stayed with him? Yes, I have. Like how long you how long you was with him? Fuck. Oh, it was just a fuck. So you didn't care? No, I didn't care. Oh, okay. One time. She's operating her oh, one time. That's okay. her masculine energy. Okay, that was your masculine. I have a lot of masculine energy. Can we get the answer in the, the from question? the women? The women that I know would have never said it. It was just a fuck. <laughs> That's masculine shit. <laughs> He's right. That is masculine. So this is the thing. I think that we do so much like worrying about like the war between the sexes. At this point, you really just have to like figure out who is for you. Like if you think certain things are important to you, you need to ask the appropriate questions that will give you the answers and 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 and, and responses that will help you figure out that person is for you. Because we 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 keep hearing a lot, oh. Well, we don't, okay, we don't like women with a bunch of makeup. So why the fuck are you in those women's faces? Ooh, because all of you have them. No, no. But she might have a fat ass. <laughs> no, but, but, but see, that's the thing. I don't mean I want her. When, we're not talking about wanting. What we're saying is that you're, you're, 
you're complaining about a woman with a bunch of makeup, yet you're in that woman's face who has a... Let me explain no, something no, to no, you. No, no, let, me, let me explain. Oh, oh, this is a session. Yeah, okay. it's a session. Okay. So what I'm saying is that, like, we're, we're, we're doing too much of, like, warring. Like, when we just really got to vet the people who we want to be with. Because, like, your reality, because we're different ages and different whatevers, like, our realities are going to be very different. Yes, we're both black women, but our, our realities and how we live are going to be different. Your reality and his reality are going to be different. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It'll be very close. It's really close. It's gonna be similar. Exactly. It's what are you similar. saying? It's very right? close. And that's the problem. <laughs> Women want to speak for men. You just wanted to speak for us just now. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll retract that. So I'll, I'll just continue to speak for myself. And, and her. Men. Exactly. <laughs> because and you can't speak for her either because y'all in a different, whole wait, different... Wait, wait, wait. I mean, I tend to agree with almost everything that she says. That's so of course you do. Okay. Because, because, no, so don't say of course I do because, because we be on the same page. Right. Like, y'all on the same we're, book. We're, because no, we're not. We're, we we live different lives. Like yes, we're both Black American women. Or she ain't. I'm American. She's Caribbean. But like we have different. Are you Caribbean. I am. Where you from? My parents are Trinidadian Jamaican. God damn! Wow, I tell you, this is fucking. People. This is trouble in this mother country. You know? I know it was problem. I know something was going on here. <laughs> I know. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, I mean, I can't. we're we're just. I mean, at, at the end of the day, like we we complain about the people with whom we're matching and with whom we're spending our Ooh. time. Who's complaining? Oh, I don't know. A lot of people. Like oh. we're people, and I'm saying we. I'm not even complaining. I'm just. Can I give you my opinion. People. I, I think the I failures are complaining. Right just, just wait. The failures. I just wait a second. What I'm saying is that we are complaining, but we're complaining about the people that we are making specific choices about. Like, if you're making a choice to date somebody, like, why are you complaining about them? You made that decision. That is a reflection of your poor decision making. So my question to well, you would be this. Hold on, wait, because you're just trying to, you're just making a point. So suppose I'm with somebody, and then later on, she want to do um, surgery to, to, to enhance her body. When I already accepted her and loved her for who she is, she wants to change that. What, what do you say about that? I think that if you guys are in a relationship where that would affect you, that she needs to have a conversation with you. What, what does that mean? But how much does it matter what, of what we're saying? It matter? Exactly. <laughs> how much does that, does that matter? But Who are you that, living that's for? A great, that's that a great would really question. mean that she's that's changing herself for herself and not changing for you. No, Why? she's changing oh. for society, not for Thank herself. You. Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all women be reaching. Y'all capping out here, and I can't deal with that. Out of nowhere, you want that new. That is she an doesn't amazing. Like the way her breasts look, then she can change it. What the fuck? If she doesn't, she like can also breasts, get a no man. Change it. It's I like saggy titties. That's Why? an amazing question. Because if we've accepted you and we've decided to have a if I if I with if you, I accepted you with saggy titties, why would you change the saggy titties? Her then life doesn't revolve around you. But then you shouldn't be with me then. If she doesn't. What? Because my because my decisions I, I my decisions is predicated on on, on who I'm with. What are you talking leave? about? Because what the hell are you talking about? So if 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 uh, if I'm in a relationship, the decisions that I make has affects my re, my my relationship, and it and it, and, and I, I need to confront my partner before I make those relationships the, those 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 decisions. Okay, and it's so not what are you talking say, about? What no, the hell? Okay, what are you talking no, about? No. It's not to say that she didn't. Tell you that Who said she did? You just said, what the hell? Nobody if said she, she didn't. Right. What I said was she's making these changes for herself, not for mm -hmm. you. So it doesn't matter that you uh, uh, accept and respectfully, her for whatever, however she is. Respectfully, she I'm not into surgery, so find another man. And he's going to the extreme. Like, if fine. we shave our mustache, that's not fine. Because the problem A is, woman will tell you, keep right. your beard, and that, you got to keep right. it. So he's talking about the extreme, about surgery and everything else. Just a small thing about us coming home and shaving our mustache. Most of us will ask, be like, hey, uh, ask. sure, because we know that that's a part of our personality if we always And you know what's so funny about that, Ron? We don't even got to ask because she will tell you, oh, I love you with that beard. Right. So you're not going to shave it. <laughs> you know how long it's been on it? 27 years this so sucker has been on it. You're going to say, I love you with those I don't even know what my chin looks like. <laughs> you know how many men probably tell their girl, much. yo, you don't need to get surgery. Yo, you don't need that much makeup. Yo, you don't even need to do all None of that, that matters. lashes. None of that matters. And they don't None listen. of that matters. They don't we, care we about what it. a man wants. None of that matters, wants. bro. You know, we literally you know, be, you know what would be wild? I'm not doing it for you. 
It'd, it'd be wild. Yo, we mean it. We let me, mean it. Let, let me. Can I reach a little bit? You know. You know what? You know, what's a, you know what? You know what? Social media has done. Social media has made everyone feel like they're a star. So everybody wants veneers. Everybody wants big titties. <laughs> everybody wants hips. Everybody wants a fat ass. Everybody wants real hair. Everybody wants natural look. All of this natural bullshit. Look. <laughs> right. Look, it's not natural. It's natural look. Natural to the European man, woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, <laughs> it's no way it's gonna look natural because you tattooed uh, right. two roses over your drain holes. The problem is, is that we come here and we come in with somebody else's picture oh, and we say we want to look like this. Oh, what's a drain <laughs> hole? <laughs> what's a drain <laughs> hole? <laughs> you you realize what the drain hole is when you go in back shots and you look down and you like, what's those two? What is, why these here? Because I thought this was fucking natural. <laughs> Oh, this is not natural? True. All right, I'm going to bust my nut, and I'm not going to call her no more. Yo, oh my, the drain hose is... I, I've never had a drain hose, so I didn't know that's called that. <laughs> but you see a lot of them. Me don't know. Me don't know. <laughs> I'll sh you want me to Google it? <laughs> I mean, I'll show you what we listen, see from behind. They're not even just on the back. <laughs> they, they, they be on having the them on their <laughs> they 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 ribs. They I gotta, everywhere. I got to look at T-cuts. It's all crazy out here. Come on. Like, you know what it feels like? To, that's like that's like you look at a Benz, right? And you like, yo, that Benz. I want that Benz. And then you go and buy that Benz. And when you get the Benz, it's a Toyota engine in it. <laughs> you like, you like, bro. Wait, but that bitch going to last forever now. It's going to last forever, but it ain't what I wanted. You going to be fixing it forever, too. <laughs> like, wait. Toyota, if it was a real Benz, yeah, they could be fixing it forever. No, no. Yeah, yeah. It still oh. looks like a Benz. Right. Yo, thank you. Crazy. That Toyota going to last no, forever. Gonna last forever. No, it's okay. It still looks like a Benz. It's not a Mercedes. Mercedes German, it's Are you dumb? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll take a Mercedes body with a, a Honda engine any day. Yeah. Never. But that's what women Never, do. Never. Because so if I want a Honda, I'm gonna get a Honda. No, no, wait, no. wait. Honda, not Honda. If I want a Honda, a Honda, a Toyota Tercel, <laughs> a Honda Accord, that's what I'm going for. Anymore. I'm not gonna go looking for a Benz with a Toyota engine. I'll take a Toyota engine. But the, the, this right. is the problem, though, Aaron. This is what women is presenting to us. They're per, per, but look. So you telling me that you would spend Ben's money I for a Toyota? I drive an electric. Would you spend <laughs> Tesla money <laughs> for a Toyota <laughs> engine, and you yeah. got to put gas in your Tesla? What are we talking about here? Look, look, look. I, I drive an electric car. Yeah. Okay. So, so Aaron, if they said, so, "Yo, so, you bought so, a Tesla with a, so, with a Toyota," so, so if you bought a Tesla <laughs> with a nine volt battery in it, would you take it? Would you? Would you? You good? You good with that? <laughs> <laughs> right, it doesn't work. <laughs> My point exactly. It's not. It's like it's it's an impossibility. Right. My point exactly. <laughs> it's an impossibility <laughs> that was made to work. <laughs> okay, Whitney says some men want to keep their woman unattractive to halt them from attracting other men. Oh, it sounds like you need therapy. I actually know a man like that. Why are you trying to get attractive for other men, first of all? I actually that know was, a man see, like See, that's that. a that was oh, Wait, wait, wait. What did she say? Like, read it again. Read it again, please, please. Hold on, hold on. Read it again, please. Yeah, yeah. Some men Sorry. want to keep their woman unattractive to halt them from attracting no, other men. Absolutely. We enjoy so, 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 walking wait, in the room so with wait, the most beautiful Ron, woman. I'm going to show you what, the, what, the, what, what, what part of the problem is, right? Once upon a time when we didn't have social media, we can have an argument or a disagreement, and we take our own separate ways, and we wait till we get over it. Now you have men in your DM, men liking, men all of this shit, and it's a distraction. Sure. It's a distraction. So women start thinking to themselves, hold on, I got 150 niggas liking my page or liking my paper or, or, or my page, picture, my yeah. picture, right? So I don't, I don't have to deal with this nigga here arguing and complaining because I got 150 motherfuckers that's liking this post. Mm, the grass so is always greener. It's always, now, it's not. the society that we live in is quantity over quality. Right. So nowadays, you got these women that think that likes is valid when it's not valid because all them dudes that like your shit is, is basically saying, I want to fuck you. That's it. <laughs> that's what they're saying. But y'all... Look at it as, oh, he likes me. Goofy. He doesn't like you. He wants to dick you down. Just like you. And they say, Just like me. No, I don't. 
I, no, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. So I don't. I don't entertain that though. And things change. So like, so I don't when we were younger, that. when we were younger, you see into a room. Got if you look at if you look at my. Uh, you know, what you say if you look at my al- algorithm right now, <laughs> you're not gonna see a bunch of naked asses. Mine either. I plead the fifth. So before, when, <laughs> so before when we were younger, we'd walk in a room and we'd have a pretty girl, and other guys would be looking at her. It was on. It was mm-hmm. a fight. Mm-hmm. Now it's like we win. Mm-hmm. We win. We I have want, yo, a very beautiful woman that we have a relationship with. We win. Look at her all you want. She's going home with me. We're dealing with. <laughs> Tigers, aka women who are in the jungle, aka outside, hot girls. Let's not go tiger. Uh, lion. Le- no. Honey badger. Bears. No. Let's go. Let's go. The beast. Uh, let's go uh, goats. A black panther. <laughs> a goat. Okay. We're, like goat. We're, Pick it out. No, no, no. Mad re- no, no I'm t- so, so let me tell you the reason why I don't want to use tiger, because naturally tigers are predators, right? And and women are prey. No, women, so let's not say women are predators too, but they can't change their to stripes. a certain extent. They're not to not to this to same a certain level. extent. But but here's the thing: human beings in general are predators, right? Predators. Women you in believe that? Yes, that's why we run this world realistically. And not no, because we could talk. And not animals, because you know why? Somebody said I'm gonna build a gun and I'm gonna shoot this bear. We are predators before we're prey. No, we're smarter than <laughs> yeah, yeah. the rest of the animals. That's why. That's why. So, so men and women are both predators. They don't make us predators. But which one is smarter? the apex predator? Right, right. Which one is the apex exactly. predator? Is different. So now we have women who are, let's just say, tigers or whatever. Right. I think I'm a kangaroo. Who are. Oh, they're pretty you're mean. You're not a king of fucking rule. Like, are you serious? <laughs> king of like, fucking rule. It's like, we take something out of the jungle and try to put it inside the house. But yet, they were outside to begin with since birth. Is this, is this, is we're this, trying to domesticate. Is this, are we saying, do not, do not wife horse? Is that what we're saying? No. It, it, that's what Don't it feels like. That, yeah, take the ones that's that was feels ra- like. The ones that was raised inside, they're usually good inside. Because I know that very well. Do not wife horse. I feel like if women speak for themselves and men speak for themselves and both parties listen, we will accomplish way more. That's how I feel. We always talking for women and women always talking for men and we don't get nowhere. And that's that's the problem. At the end of the day, we got to do our part. Me, I agree with what you said in the first half. What did you say in the beginning? If men start leading the way they're supposed to lead. Now, men, not every man is a king. Not every woman is a queen. There's some gestures in the in the kingdom, okay? <laughs> uh, and that's just how it works. A lot. Right? <laughs> and a king is somebody who makes decisions based on the kingdom, right? So I got to wake up in the morning as a king to know that whatever decisions I make, my kingdom is going to be affected by it. So I have to make the best choice possible, not just for me, but for my kingdom. That's what a that's what a king is about. That's what a man is about to me. A queen is not going to make decisions based on her own feelings, but based off of what is going to happen in the kingdom. Sure. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if when I get up, I got to think about, damn, how am I going to run this kingdom? Okay, the kids got to do this. The kids got to do that. My husband got to do this. My, hu- my wife got to do that. We're going we gonna to work together as a unit, and we're going to work together. That's what a queen and a king is. Not somebody who get up and on some selfish shit and this and that and fuck that. I'm not doing that today. There's a lot of things that the king does not want to do. There's a lot of things that the queen does not want to do. But at the end of the day, it has to be done because it benefits the kingdom. That's how I feel. Viral! Yeah. The, queen, the queen has to trust the king. Yes. The queen has to, listen to me, the queen has to trust the queen. Well, that, I mean, that's... Listen, the queen has to trust the king in order to support his decisions because if she's constantly contradicting him, and not take into consideration what his decision is, nothing's gonna get done. Absolutely. Then that's not a queen. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. That, that is true. a queen. Caring? That's not true. The fuck? Right, but in her support is important, and maybe she might bring to a point something that we may have overlooked. But in the end, the general plan has to be supported. So, so, so a woman likely oh, not 
make a decision without the 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 consult or the 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 information or whatever the input, right input. Of, of the queen. But you right. just can't straight up say, "Hey, that's just." However, stupid. however, in the same breath, a woman will decide who she wants to submit to. Yeah. So whether he's a king or not, if she doesn't feel comfortable submitting to that person, not. she's not going to do it. And, and she, I don't care what you do to try to make her submit, right. she's just not going but to submit. And she will That's a gesture. Nah, no. you because, can't say that. Like, but here's the thing, though. You can't say that. Yes, I can. It because no, 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 no. It means that you don't it doesn't identify mean, it a doesn't king. Doesn't mean that, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have the skill either. It means that you she cannot identify what a king is to know when to submit. That's the problem. Because, look, if I was a king, right, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who think that they're kings mm -hmm. and they're trying to acquire a queen, mm -hmm. but they're not a, a king. So they can't right. acquire a queen. Guess what? The roles get flipped. There's a lot of women that think that they are queens. So they submit to the wrong person. Although example A could be the king, they're going to submit to example B because example B Actually caters to their feelings. But women and not, make and not women, the women make bad That's decisions all the time. But that doesn't initial, make you. That wasn't your initial. Yes, it is. No, I said women. What I'm saying I said is, women. once you submit to the women, wrong person, make bad decisions all the time. How many times have you met a dude that you know didn't have no business being between your legs, but you still let him get there? That's not a queen, though. His business was his. But you get what I'm saying, like what I'm trying to right. say. Right, but 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 you got to understand, you 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 making a decision based off of what lust? No, no, no. Isn't that men? What? But this is what women are doing today. But we're also talking. That's what I'm about trying to tell you. Women are doing. Do you know how much women nowadays will have a, have sex with you tonight, and you won't hear back from them? You remember back in the days when why, you was growing up. Look, hold on, wait. Major calm down. Have, all you gotta I'm do, asking. turn your head right over you here. You remember back in the days. The so back, <laughs> so back in the days when 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 a man, if a woman gave his, herself to a man, right. It was your duty. Ron, Ron, tell me if I'm Ron wrong. Wants more tell me if I'm uh, wrong. We're gonna Ron. have a little bit more Jameson because he's been against. Tell me if I was tell, tell me if I'm wrong, Ron. If a woman gave her her body to you back in the days, it was your job to contact her tomorrow to make her feel like she wasn't just a one night stand. Really? So so even so if she was. Had to, if 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 you had sex with a with a woman and you didn't call her for like two, three days, she was like, what? Mm -hmm. This nigga didn't even that, call that, that, me. That, that goes, I, I, I don't know. I'm, women so that are goes, doing that to men today. Right. So, so mm. the, the the difference between relationships and just Stop sex is very difficult for both types of people. So, for example, you know, a, a lot of women take to equate sex with relationship. Yes. When men have sex, is sex? It's just an act. Exactly. Yeah. And and you know, this is a, a love massive new vagina. A, a example that we talked about when we wrap up this show. The three of us can go to a go go bar right now and watch girls. You guys go, ahead. go to a go go boy place and watch. No, guys. go go boy place. Go find one right now. <laughs> go go boys. We don't even know what the name of that is. <laughs> where are you gonna find one, guys? No, no, would you like to know where we go? Where? Chippendales no, 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 is no, no, only. No, no, no. I just asked a straight up question. We can go out and see girls dance right now. You guys can't go no, through. No, no, no. I don't know. And you're, and you're absolutely right. right. What I'm saying is that there is an equivalent, but I don't think you want to know what the equivalent is. A lame ass. I would love to know. A lame ass gesture. That's what you call him? Gesture. <laughs> that's, I'm just a lame ass general. gesture. That's We're your alternative. No, you know, <laughs> what, is the, what is the place that you guys go I, to? No, no, no. What I'm saying is I understand what you're saying, Ron, but the thing is that I, I think that y'all don't consider the fact that there is an equivalent. What's the equivalent? A mainstream equivalent? No, it's not. Okay, well, that's... No, no, no. What's you're, the equivalent? Right. Right. I want to know. There, there's not a mainstream... There's not a mainstream equivalent, but there is an equivalent to a woman finding an outlet similar sure, to there's equivalents to everything. That's I could go and what? play cards right now, or poker, underground, whatever. Your little friend. Your little friend? Mm -hmm. Let's go hang out well, with That's a whole. That's friend. a whole engagement, though. This is wild. That's Listen, where you resort. We're talking to. about. We're talking about. We're talking, we're talking about, about entertainment, right? And mindset, we're, right? You're talking about going to a sneaky link. It's not entertainment. And a, and there's a, when always it's always going to be there's always going to be ridiculous. an outlet. But I didn't use that that word. But there's a majority. Yeah, but you said a friend, my friend, a little, my little friend. <laughs> No, but this this is the thing. Like my, and it's my friend. That's the craziest thing. Why is it my friend? <laughs> I didn't go to your go go bar. Dragging, Why is it my friend? Dragging it right now. I'm just I just listen very well. It's just it's, <laughs> that's it's all. Just that like you guys are asking what is the equivalent, and I've given you an equivalent. 
And so it's like a either- sneaky link. <laughs> Yo. That not. cannot be equal. We have to We're understand. talking okay, about so, public all right, entertainment. Let's go to another level. So now you have you have an equivalent. We have ten more equivalents. Ooh. I'm just saying because that's the way we're built. That's the way that we're you know we. I mean, there was no so fucking I'm equivalent, not, bro. Wait, I'm no, not, Ron, don't 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 give her an exit plan, please. <laughs> there was never <laughs> an equivalent. I haven't even enough to have an exit plan. What are you talking about? I didn't mean it derogatory. I just no, mean it I'm as a comparison. Because I'm like, saying that. Say no, no. I'm talking, talking about my friend versus the go-go bar. I just jumped into this, I guess. Right. There's no equivalent That's here. That's a public space. There's none. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be hey, a. Hey, hey, you're right. What? All of y'all. No. Oh, no. Boo. No, we don't. No, we don't Give me a tomato. Boo. Give me a tomato. The difference is you're talking about children versus grown ass people that can't get their shit. <laughs> And, that, and that's the problem for me. And, and that's and that's why I said before, if we stop talking for each other and listen to each other, we'll make far more progress. Right. I don't think that men should tell women what they're looking for and what they want and what they need. And I don't think that women should be t- talking for us as well. If we talk collectively, that's why I don't. That's why I don't support women empowerment groups. I don't support none of those foolishness because I feel like it's a community. And if a woman is empowering herself and comes back home to her man and leaves her man unempowered, then what type of progress are we making in really in real aspect? So at the end of the day, it's a community empowerment. So now we need to have the men and the women's empowerment. We need to have the women inside the men groups. And we need to listen to each other. Without, without that, we're not getting anywhere. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? We just making noise. Yeah. And until we start listening to each other and respecting each other's views, we're not going to be it's not going to be so so when so so for example, if 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 Rico has something to say about men and the way men feel, the women at the table should listen and understand it. And when the women you have something to say, Same. Rico needs to listen. I actually think for the most part that but I'm just speaking on a general basis. Like, like society. Says, right, so society. that's the representation yeah, right. of the men. Yeah. You are the representation of the women. He says that development women. should be so, together. The minute right. that you mention a woman or a men's right. group, we've so, already so, separated ourselves. Right. But you know so, what? So if, I'm, so if I'm in a house, let's say, let's say, let's say I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a relationship with her, right? Huh? What you say? <laughs> Can you do an accent? Can you do an accent? <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's say me and her are four. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So let's yes. say me and her is together, right? <laughs> me and her is together, and we're having issues within our relationship, right? And she <laughs> goes to therapy by herself, and I'm not doing any therapy. She leaves me behind. Right. We're not moving as a unit. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Until we start doing couples therapy, and until we start doing things for each other, then we're never going to make progress. Because then what's going to happen is she's going to go like this, and I'm going to be sit- sitting here. Where you were. Right. So until we start doing that, to me, we're not going to make any progress. And That's you know, just how I feel. I, you know what the crazy thing is? When you say that, I think about it, and, I, and I'm like, I've seen men empowerment groups. Like, I don't believe all of the red pill nonsense when they basically mm-hmm. get money to shit on women. Mm-hmm. I think that's corny. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in the women, Absolutely. women empowerment movement where they do the same, get money to shit on men, right? I think that's, that's not progressive. But one thing I would love to start seeing is a unity empowerment movement, a couples empowerment. Absolutely. I don't see those things, you know what I'm saying? At all. And, Rico, and I, it doesn't Rico. sell. Rico. I'll see it doesn't Rico. sell. Rico, I'll, but, but Rico, Rico. Sell. let's start this shit next week. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I would love to see that, like, yo. That's what we need. A, until we do that, we're not going to make no progress. We're going to just have these, these debates and arguments. That's just what that it's going to be. going in circles. Exactly. And at the end of the it's day, and, and I, I agree with you because I feel like everything that we say here, I've heard, or we have. And you said, know what's funny? You yeah. know what's funny? People are people are gaining monetary yeah. gain off of these conversations that with no with no that, solution with no solution. With but you know no you know what the crazy thing is? Here's the even crazier part: people are paying and or subscribing, which is giving them the monetary gain. Yeah, so like, because people are regurgitating bullshit. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> but nobody would regurgitate shit if they weren't getting paid. Because if, if if they were not getting money to do it, 
they would stop doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So now my thing is, we have to figure out a way where, and, and this is just my opinion right now, I'm just thinking off mm -hmm. on the fly. We have to figure out, it's basically charity work to the community. Whether or not it pays us or not, we got to make a conscious contribution to listen to each other. If we had hosted groups, mm -hmm. okay, black men um, are going to listen to black women and then flip-flop, whatever the case may be. And we did this twice a week. And then maybe it might not get the monetary gain that everybody's looking for, but we could actually get a progressive gain that is what is what's Absolutely. needed. Whether, like, not just race, but, you know, women, men, men and women, especially... Mm -hmm. I say especially here in America because everywhere else, this problem doesn't exist. America, it doesn't it, exist. It's right. It, it does not exist You're right. anywhere America. else. Right. <laughs> it does not exist anywhere else. <laughs> it, it, it does exist in the bigger countries. Let's say that. Yeah. Let's say the bigger countries. Like, so you know, maybe London. So New York, New York, England, no, and Canada. Thing. No, no, no. That's not true. That's not true. What? It's this not true. What was the difference? This is a Western well, issue. It's not no, true. Because, because like, tell me how. Because I see it in every everywhere I go. Okay, but what about what I see where I go? So let me know. Okay, where you travel to? Everywhere. Like where? Everywhere. Like where do you see it? Mexico. You see it in the UK? You don't see that in the UK? Literally? Wait, you don't see it in the UK? No, I no, I think the, the same thing is in the UK. That's what I'm saying. And where's the UK at? That's, is no, it in the Western? Western. The U, UK is a little bit different, but the, the UK is Western. The countries, we we are a nationality. Yeah, UK is so Western. for example, Cubans, so what's so what's Cubans, what's not Western? Whether we're white, black, or whatever, we're still Cuban. You know that that separation. I don't know what she's talking about. In America, Google it. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna right? say you're arguing with uh, am, I, am I correct? Do so, you know what the Western Hemisphere is? Google it. <laughs> Google it. Wait. So Google what? It. What did you say? What did you say it was? What are we googling? Wait. Wait. Uh, Mary. Mary, can you? Am I? Am wait. Wait. Am I what, did you, what, what, what did you say? The West. I'm confused. West. West is not just America. West is also is also Mary. United Kingdom. Mary. The West is also Central America and South America. Well, uh, well no, because that's, that's under So then it's the world then? No, no the Western no. Hemisphere. Because you got Europe and, well, we and UK to... is Europe. No, no, Europe is... Europe is... Not... is UK yeah. is Europe. So you're telling me that, yes. that UK is... is... Hmm? Well, when well, we're talking about Western civilization, it's different than Western Hemisphere. It done. Yeah. Yeah, probably like... Let's just talk about the United States of America and how we break down everybody. Well, we are not going to get into a history no, no, lesson. No, 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 but make we, your argument because y'all love fucking argue. Well, we, we, love, love, well, we love to make groups in the United States, so we have right. groups for everything. So if you go to uh, black Chinese writers, you ain't going to find them in Russia. But you might find a Black Chinese Writers Association here in the United States mm -hmm. or a, a Latin Russian mm -hmm. violinist group. We don't have those breakdowns in other places. Yes, you but know, that's be only here because they want to separate us. So they said they said we're not talking about the Western Hemisphere. We're talking about Western live lifestyle. Western civilization. First of all, the only reason why parts of the UK is of a Western civilization specifically is because that is the civilization that came to America and discovered America. So we that's take, why it's not no, no, discovered. No, no, no. Let's, not say, let's not say. Let's not say discovered. No, no. But this is this is. That means. No, he's right. Oh he's actually no, he's very, very, very right. Okay. Take all right. I'm not even going to argue about this. I'm not even going to argue about this. You want to believe the history book? <laughs> like. We're not. Thank you, guys. I'm just saying, like, don't argue with me when your shit ain't right. Your shit ain't right. <laughs> at, at the end of the day, please. 1220. I, I do not talk about things that I do not know about. Did you talk about things that was. Thank you. Hey. All right, yeah, this yeah. is very, very Okay, good. guys, I just want to shout out with Wait, wait, before we shout on, out wait, anybody, wait, wait, hold on. I just want to address the people who have been watching on our YouTube lives that haven't liked our YouTube. Out of control. Yeah, of control. it's unacceptable. Like, at this Fuck point, <laughs> I can't speak for everybody, but I'm done with it. So what I need y'all to do, if y'all going to support <laughs> us, support us all the way. Don't have ass our support. If you're not going to super chat, that's cool. But definitely when you come on our lives, just like it. That's all we're asking. All right, cool. Well, then scroll down for you that don't know. <laughs> okay, scroll down on that live, like it, and then scroll back up. And if you don't, then the message still holds true. <laughs> like, like Rico said, make sure you like this shit. It may be <laughs> I didn't say all that. But God damn, this is crazy. That's even she, like, you, you see, 20 years ago, women wouldn't talk like that. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't need to know all of that, bro. No, they do. Why? 
Because we might not show up next week. Fuck you, <laughs> niggas. <laughs> That screen with all the color, that screen with all the color all lines the that we used right. to see at three in the morning. Right. Yeah, these, you, you don't even know about that. You don't even know about that. You know don't know when TV used to turn off. She only had Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, I you do know. not know when TV used to cut off. Stop it. Show her. All right, we're about to finish. Guys, I just want to say thank y'all so much for tuning in. We appreciate the love, we appreciate y'all and, and our amazing guests. Like, y'all have been really, really awesome. Like, I loved everything today. And really, if you have loved everything uh, today and everything that you have, that you ate at the table, ooh, let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you enjoyed what you Her, ate at the table today. I ain't at the table. <laughs> See what I mean? If you enjoyed that? what you ate at the table today, like, like, subscribe, sign up for our membership, our packages, like the day box, everything. Because, like, don't don't get caught on the short bus. Cause like when, when we blow up, like blow up, blow up. Don't be stuck out in the cold. That's all I gotta say. Wait, Mr. Mr. Hype, Miss Miss Mr. Hype, what do you have coming up soon? Let us know. He has a Netflix coming up. Okay, but go ahead. Yeah, Mr. that's Mr. that's September the second. Is it already shot? N no. Can uh, we're, we're, we're shooting it? Is it it's live? Is there like a location where we're shooting it at King's Theater at, uh, for Labor Day weekend, which is September second. Wait, 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 where oh, wait, is so that? You can buy tickets. Where's for King's Theater? It's in Brooklyn, baby. Oh, shit, I don't know. I ain't from here. Shit. <laughs> you gotta get familiar with the area. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be filming live um, in King's Theater September the second for my comedy special, so, yeah. We will be there. We will definitely yeah. be there. We're we got a lot of shit that's going on, too, but I don't want to take up y'all. No, you should let us know. No, no, we, we, no this is, please pub your shit. This is your opportunity your to shit. say what's no, okay. going on with you. Okay, well, uh, Major clearly doesn't have anything else going on. Um, I got a bunch of shit going on. <laughs> I'm joking. He doesn't want to share for, okay. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, like, no, just, just like, let life be life. Okay, your time is your time. Vendetta the movie is okay, coming you out. Follow them on your Instagram. Yeah. Let them. Which is also Shot This Too. I'm in that. Shot This? Shot This Too? Oh, wait, Shot This? All right. Um, Ron, what you got? I doing? love yeah. that. Yeah. But first of all, it's shooting like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. <laughs> Where the fuck is the gun at? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? This is a peace sign. <laughs> she so, said Shot so, so, yeah, I'm going to be in Shot This Too. Well, I'm in it. Nah, right. I'm gonna be in it. I'm in it. Shot this too, which is also called R Vendetta. Big um, big things. Major hype. Kamani Marley, Paul Campbell, oh. a bunch of people is in that movie. Get ready for it. It's coming out very soon. Uh, we got a lot of things that's working, but you know what I'm saying. I just want to say much much blessings to everybody and all the supporters and um, Absolutely. you know just give God the, the God just give God the, his <laughs> just give give God give God. God his grace and glory. That's it. That's Amen. all I can say. And if there's the movie premiere, don't forget your friends at the table. Okay. Right. We didn't get along. So. We didn't get along. Right. All right, Ron. You're not I, one of the friends. I Amanda. am currently working on it. So a Ron and the crew, um, he's working on snitches. Yes, okay, I'm currently understand. under a lot of okay. gag orders. <laughs> Ron can't talk about nothing. Ron, wor Ron working on protecting. Ron said, I got I'm seven cases on, right I'm now. On snitching. <laughs> So I'm some I'm under some talent agreement, so I can't talk about some stuff. But at one eight hundred ninety eight detective, if you want my opinion? What's your number? One eight hundred ninety eight detective. It's not one eight hundred ninety eight snitch. It's one eight hundred ninety eight detective. Were you a detective in ninety eight? Uh, oh my God, I was a detective in ninety five. Killing me. You were a detective. Yeah. Like well, a cop, a cop. Yo, he was a detective no, my I, whole life. So no nothing. No, okay. I mean. <laughs> So it's one one eight hundred ninety eight detective, and if you need some advice, some investigations done, let us know. And in the media, we'll see what's gonna happen. No, wait, what's your at? Your your yeah. oh, it's at Instagram it's my name or? at Ronnie Padrone. Whether it be Twitter, whether it be Instagram, whether it be uh, TikTok, it's at Ronnie Padrone. Spell it. Uh, don't put it on the thing. Ronnie R O N N I E P A D R O N. <laughs> I'm just saying, Patron. That's just a, Love it. It's just Patron. Like that's Patron. Me for me. Patron. Like Patron. And I got to tell you, this about Patron. And a lot of things. <laughs> this was amazing. Oh, thank you. This was amazing. This was amazing. And uh, I think we should, uh, we got like 100 hours left of uh, coverage. 
Jason Wright. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah, we want to know all the dirt. A thousand. We definitely, definitely want to know we the definitely dirt. Need I want to pull up the all the clips. Like, yo, how'd you catch And the this? guys are absolutely right, 100%. <laughs> Okay, close out. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Last thing you told us last time, women do not keep running men. No, women do not cheat on the men. That is a fact. And it's only because that, what you know, what the fact is, is that right now all of us can leave and all you women have a 100% guarantee of getting laid. We have maybe a 20 percent chance. And that's a fact. Maybe it's a 10% chance. And what, listen, I'm I don't here. Know what, I don't know what your thing do, but my thing is lit. Not, oh, wait a minute. 12. Thing work, listen, work. you're pushing. <laughs> you're, <laughs> no, no, you're pushing that 12. Here. Listen, no, you brought, me here. Condoning you brought me here to be real, and we're going to be real. Be real. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>